I also have a fantastic idea for a transition. Uh-huh. I, I was counting on you to do the thing. Oh. Billy. No, 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 still oh. not. Uh, I had myself behind I, 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 I really, you really, you did this all the time and now I'm the one who's looking like a, f- no. Uh, yowie hands, yowie uh. hands, yowie hands. I, I guess the energy is gone. Hello and welcome yep. to the awkward cast where a, a, a and Y and Keyframe wonder about random drivel. Welcome uh, to the last show of the year. Isn't this a good omen? I, I know. And uh, with us uh, uh, once again, uh, the Denim Ninja. Hello. Hello and welcome to the show. Hi guys, we're all together. Yeah, uh, what could ever have given that away? Whoa. We don't have. We have Yuri hands. We have tiny baby hands. Basically, yeah. Yuri your your hands, hands are Yuri shrinking. Hands. Also, oh, it's, you have very long hands, specifically. That's or very long reaching. arms. All the way to the keys. Yeah. 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 Hello there. <laughs> so, uh, Danim Ninja, for the people who do not remember uh, who you are, what to do, and why they should care since your last appearance here, like... How many episodes ago? Can't be many because uh, it was like it was, was. it was like September. It was post. Mm. It was yeah, post Euro for exactly, us. Yeah. and it was. But it was a very awkward, uh, a very unawkward autumn. Mm. So unawkward autumn. Say this uh, four times in a row fast. Unawkward autumn. Unawkward autumn. Unawkward autumn. I literally asked for this. You did. Anyways, uh, the denim ninja. Hi, I'm denim ninja. I live here. Uh, <laughs> I have a Twitter. I mean, do you have I any? I haven't updated my fic in a while, wait, wait, wait. so there's that. You do, oh, yeah, you in, have this fic in, still in on theory, you. you do a choose your own adventure story. Yes. I was. I kind of uh, dropped did, the ball did, on it. Didn't you, didn't well, you just whole, also tweet? I mean, there was that whole. I did, I did stream yesterday. Stream, yes. Yeah, I streamed yesterday. The one and only. Professional Sims streamer. Exactly, exactly. Sure, the, professional. I still need to. My arms, keep my arms in here. Professional yeah, Sims true, streamer, yes, Denim Ninja. Yes, yes, like like the the world world known. Now. I mean, I mean, you are known in Germany and uh, in America as a streamer. So you are an international sure. streaming is it just sensation. No, is, is it because I'm here that he, she's known in America I mean, as a sim streamer? I, I mean, who are the, I mean, the, I did, did, mm-hmm. did anybody from located in America from my server join to watch? Copper Calf was there. See, therefore All international. Right, there we go, international. <laughs> but but yes, yeah, so. Um, if you're wondering why it's set up like this, I visited. I uh, yeah. <gasps> Whoa! I do. This week has a lot of overlap with people, if yes. you didn't realize. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, how should we start? Uh, uh, should I start I, I guess when we, I got here? Uh, do, do, do we want to do any acknowledgement of before you got here? What was the last... Keyframe, completely natural transition. What did happen in your life before you came here? Oh, this is acting like I, it's I'm the guest, but uh, just so we don't have a really long week segment because yes. I really don't want that right now. Fair. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the Angela's house stream happened. We streamed for 30 hours. Well, and we, I mean me, <laughs> I mean a bunch of my friends joined in, but okay. I was the one online the longest. Mm, true. Out of necessity. Come on, does it still... St- no, uh, you, it have to just, you have to just click on that. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, and we streamed for... Uh, we... we well, well because... Oh, oh, yeah, if a video is <laughs> yeah. over 24 hours, YouTube doesn't encode it. Yeah. So I hope you were there. Um, but yeah, we streamed for 30 hours, and we raised almost $4,000 for Angela's house, which ben if you don't Ram. know what that is... You haven't been watching the podcast. Yeah, there, really there, long, right there. You? Angela's house. Yeah. Look um, at it. It, it says so right I'm, on screen. Yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. We did a uh, duck game and we did Among Us. We did Mario Part two <laughs> incidentally three <laughs> sessions of Mario Party. I'll talk about this part because it was funny. Okay. Um <laughs> so, so with Mario Party, we did one part that was all technically all CPUs. Because apparently <laughs> Mario Superstars is the one Mario game where you can't have all the characters be computers. So which Mario game did you specifically buy for this particular event? Mario Superstars. Well, that's an uh, awkward development. But we had uh, we had me, we had Silver Quill, we had our my friend Spade, and we had this this boy right here. What? what, what? And uh, I think the funniest part about that was that your character at some point 
was just the worst character. Oh, yeah. I, I, believe, uh, did, I lost completely, didn't I? You got fourth place. Yeah. And the thing was is that Max was trying his absolute hardest to try to be like, see, this is all part of the plan. And there exactly. was, there just came a point where you were like, I can't spin this. This is just yep. bad. <laughs> um, and then the second session we did um, was me, Jer, uh, Paleo, and uh, Will. And that was really fun. Uh, Jer is a monster, and he will never be on the podcast. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, yeah. He, Jer he, and Duck Game. Jer and Duck Game is a the, fucking menace. Yeah. The first round when he was not trying for real, it was like, okay... Jer is not a competition. Jer has nobody to worry about. And then in the second round, he actually tried and he massacred everybody. I think what broke my heart. I think what broke my heart is Oni was like, "I practiced a lot before the stream, so I could play with this now with you guys." And the poor girl, just. I mean, I lost really bad, but I also just have the confidence in losing. But um, but yeah, we did it with paleo and stuff, and uh, Jer won. By a large margin, Will was very upset. Uh, more, more that he was constantly leaning towards the mic and was going, "It's time." Uh, just, just every time he ro he would roll the dice or something, and I became a double dice Daisy because every time I play Mario Party, I'm Daisy. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third session was not supposed to exist. We were supposed to do Fall Guys with Eddie Bowley, who's been on the show, good old mm -hmm. Eddie. Yeah. But. <laughs> A Do particular you. season of a very popular video game that I played dropped the same weekend, as in Fortnite. <laughs> so the entire Epic Game servers would not turn on unless mm. you were playing Fortnite. So we did Mario Party, and, and fucking Eddie was like, oh, I'll play it, but I'm not good at it, I don't like it. And then he won. <laughs> fucking Kong Sweep. Oh, if you're looking for the picture... Oh, did you post it? I posted oh, it. Oh, you know, posted I know, it. I know Denim retweeted it, and I know you retweeted it. Yeah, but... Denim might be the quicker way. Yeah. Unless you are... You can go to mine. I haven't posted pictures in a while, so... That's true, but media, everything... I, I, I guess I got just go to yours after. Yeah. Please continue talking. <laughs> but no, that was no. It was a lot of fun, and I lost very spectacular at, spectacularly at that this last one. And I'm gonna trash talk Eddie for a second. Because that bastard, he he warped blocked all the way over to me, switched places, and then went to a boo space, which steals coins. So I had 19 coins, and I was one block away from the star. So I couldn't get the star twice <laughs> because of Eddie. This man. This, 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 this. Why? This Eddie. Yeah. There we go, there we go. This Eddie who ha happens to be watched by Eddie, our ferret, for, or ferret formerly known as Eddie, now known yeah, as Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know yes. when, uh, because Eddie sent a very generous donation. He's a good boy. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, hey, well, have him go watch. Which, which, which of the two? Because both those Eddies... They're both good. Then boys. generous opinion. They're both good. Boys. I, don't, I don't think one of them knows how to would never be able to figure out how to use PayPal. Yeah, but both of those Eddie's send generous donations, so But yeah, point being the the human one is a good one. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was like, hey, have Himbo watch uh watch the watch an Ed Ache video. And that's when I discovered that their actual names oh, are previous names. Their well, actual names Their previous <laughs> names Thank are you. Eddie and Elliot. Which they didn't know is also the name of one of the tryhards on uh, mm. on tryhards is Eddie, Elliot, and Tom. That's the thing mm -hmm. I learned this week. Now the thing is, did the Foster family for Himbo and Rocket have one named Thomas or yeah. something? Or maybe the kid was Tom and he got two ferrets named uh, Eddie and Elliot. Well, the people we got them from were already not their original exactly, owners. Exactly, exactly. So. That's why nobody knows. It's it's it's, it's a mystery lost. We Point don't know being. Where they came from. Point being, thank you everyone who donated and joined and everything. You made a lot of people's Christmases. I know Angela's house uh, tagged me in a tweet mm. showing the Christmas party I mean. that they had because um, the stream actually helped offset a lot of the costs for their Christmas party, oh. which was very nice. They had a bunch of like costumed characters and stuff for the kids. It was, I mean, it was very, it's... it was very sweet. Also, it's very funny to hear older people uh, say the term friendos. <laughs> But yeah, I guess since it's an official treat... They, they, it'll be... Oh, there it was! There's, there's, there's my face! Yeah, it's your face! Wait, they, it's, it's not on camera. No, no I know no, it's not. Blip, blip, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm preparing my media on a different screen. 
And because I wanted to be nice to you, I oh, prepare them on the you. right instead of the middle. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it was. It's a, it, they did it. They threw a really big party. Yeah. Which, good for them. Yeah, look you at know. Them. But um, yeah, that was nice. But anyways, um, the actual week. Oh, oh, the actual week. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You uh, can go to Angela's house's Twitter. Follow it. Donate. Yeah, yeah. Do, do good that. shit. Oh, I forgot. I don't have. Ah, I don't have a pack on out. I guess I put Angela's Twitter. Angela's house's Twitter in yeah. the description um, down below. But besides that, moving on. Uh, and like I guess this goes into everyone's week because our weeks have been intertwined. Whoa! Uh, I Multi week of madness. I flew in on a Monday, very uneventful flight. I slept a lot, um, and then uh, me and me and Denim had a very fun adventure with the train, uh, mm. wherein the train did not stop for us. The first one we needed to take from the airport. It just went on by. Yeah, we were Whee! like, we were like, here it comes. Uh, there it, there goes. it goes. Bye, train. Um, but yeah, after that, you know, we've been here. Um, the week was fairly uneventful, like in a good way. In that, you know, a lot of, lot of fun, a lot of watching things. One thing being the me one of the medias that we're going to have. Talk for yourself. I was once again threatened. Oh, yeah. I guess we could talk about the the escape. The weekend was really when things started a, a bumping. Yeah, I had work, so. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I guess, uh, do either of you want to talk about the escape room? I mean, oh, I, mean, I do, can do also you... post this, uh, show this one. Oh, yeah. So um, we discovered that Himbo really likes me. To, to weird extensions because mm -hmm. Rocket, but, ah, I, I, it's considered at some point that everybody holds a ferret when we open the, the stream, but. Where did they go? Uh, I, Rocket is probably in the bedroom in the cage and Himbo could be anywhere. Talk, but, uh, talk, talk, yes. about, talk about this guy liking uh, yeah, me. Exactly. And I'm so, yeah. Rocket technically uh, the, the one who, who endures humans a little bit more so you can pick him up and if he's and if he's not too, exactly while. if he's a little bit tired then he gladly stays in your arm for a hot minute but uh, this guy is normally like even when he sleeps often enough oh yeah he's because very, I can turn I can turn off the ring light for for the time being he's usually very quick to be like yeah. eh, for me dude yeah, yeah, yeah even sometimes when I take he is asleep I pick him up I'm like Shh, stay asleep stay asleep and he's like stays there for like two minutes before he's like eh, 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 oh no I need to get up I need to get up I'm like okay okay if you're awake now dip 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 down from my lap to his, to the next best blanket, curling up and sleep, continuing sleeping. Mm. Being like a very clear, fuck you, I'm not going to sleep in your arm. Now over to this person, and this gesture doesn't mean anything because I'm just staring at the chat right now, aren't I? Totally. You're Looked totally slightly. just staring at the chat. Uh, Look that direction up slightly. Yeah, mm, but now I cannot much. see here, okay? There, perfect. But yes. That, um, yeah, Himbo's just staying there. <laughs> We discovered this like I think on Wednesday actually. Um, Himba, I was lying, I was like lying back on the couch, like just relaxing, and Himba was there for like five minutes straight. And then like, Unreal. Unreal. And also in this picture, we were doing yip yips, which don't do uh, planks and jeans. That that's Chrissy's lesson, um, especially when you've been having stomach problems all week. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just lying on the floor, and he just started relaxing. Like he was grooming himself and relaxing just on my back. I thought that's where I was going to die. Uh, I mean, this sometimes happens the grooming part, but they're staying yeah. on your arm the grooming, part like getting this. Getting comfortable. Yeah, this part is this unusual. This is uncanny. This is and not this him. Is, and this has not been a fluke. This has been all mm -hmm. week. He likes me. And your theory is that it's like gremlin solidarity. Yeah, yeah, it's gremlin solidarity. It was also very the, the when you took a nap after we went shopping for a bit. And then oh, I was yeah, trying to wake those you those pictures up. should be on WhatsApp Wait. as yeah. well. As like, uh, right. while Max was at a, at a at a little Christmas shindig at his undescript job, mm -hmm. um, I was yeah. lying down in a blanket. Oh, right, this was here. And Himbo was just relaxed. Well, I came over and put Himbo yeah, on her to try to wake her up from her nap. So but she then he so started she napping. Later. Yeah, he stayed. He yeah. just curled up and got comfy. And then he curled up even... This is after he curled up even closer and I could, like, look down and I could see his little face. We have been trying to get those little stinkers to be a little bit more cuddly, maybe sleep close to us. No! This Rocket is, will maybe stick if this around is an sometime. Yeah. If this is an affirmation that I need to visit more, this is, this is it. Yeah, <laughs> you kissed his eye. Yeah, that part was crossing a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this was like a very like, oh, no, expression. He, he loves me. 
But yeah, so... He, he, he does, otherwise he would not All be All right, down but... you go, baby. We gotta turn the ring light back on Bop. for good lighting. Okay. Oh, he just turned liquid on the floor. Yep. He Odie says, Chrissy attracts himbos confirmed. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Point. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, the, the, do one of you want to talk about the escape room? Oh, sure. Um, escape room, I now was, uh, or the company? I was for the third time now, uh, mm -hmm. uh, or the provider, whatever. Because this is the same place we did the yeah. Sherlock escape room for your yes. yes. and uh, one that you did with your non-script company. Exactly, uh, Da Vinci. Uh, uh, yeah. We did the, the Da Vinci. Um, something to say about them, they are space-wise. Uh, they are more smaller rooms. It's all very tight corners, even though the one we, the maniac. They're expanding, though, look yeah. like. At but, least in general. But, but yeah, the, the rooms main, themselves. Yeah, the maniac, the one that we did, was actually like... Uh, uh, uh pr relatively big for compared to mm. Sherlock, for example. Yeah, it was bigger. Or, well, Sherlock, Sherlock was also say. very um, micromanagey, puzzle heavy. Yeah. yeah. But, but anyways, the plot of Maniac without spoilers, because escape rooms mm -hmm. is uh, to all two people who may go to this one. Mm -hmm. Um, you are caught by a serial killer, and you have. And seems to be a cannibal. And you have sixty seconds, mm. aka minutes. To uh, save yourself. I mean, I'm pretty sure she misspoke. Yeah. I like the idea that this is just in character, in slow time, ah. like Matrix time. But, but right. anyways, um, so they put bags over our heads. Yeah. Which they smell so bad. At least you know they sanitize. They sanitize them, mm -hmm. but to all the they, Americans they that know it for breezes, like they just kind of went in there and went. Well, it was. They smelled like bounce dryer sheets. Yes. Is what it was. And I was like. Okay, now I'm good. Mm -hmm. um, and but yeah, we were all handcuffed, and we are okay. The we were so fucking stupid with the first puzzle oh, yeah, because yeah. we were dumb. We were literally I handcuffed. I mean, I was even double handcuffed. I believe you were double I was, too. I had both hands were handcuffed. I wasn't. Yeah. She had one handcuffed. He had two hands cuffed, but one with two cuffs. Yeah, so I had three cuffs for some I reason. I have the feeling because I'm the shortest one, they gave me one mm. because I, I was crawling on the floor for the yeah, first like 20 You had the most reach. Minutes. I was in the front of when they yeah. let us back. That's why I had the least reach. I was like, eh. I can get this thing over oh, here, kind of. And save the information for later. This was a medium level room. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I looked up Maniac the last time we wanted to go, and Max was like, oh, medium is like a baby room. Look yeah. at me, I'm Max. However, we've, she told us afterward that it's also like their main attraction. It's, it's, it's like the, their the star room. Most one. Because it yeah. goes a little bit beyond just being an escape room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they, they do a little bit of. Uh, no, it doesn't only start with those uh, the, the bags over your head and actually getting chained. We're very heavy and uncomfortable which, chains. Which the last time we got chained for one was uh, the one in Sicily. We, we were also chained for the Saw one. Yeah, but it, but was, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't nearly as easier. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were not chained with your arms like this. Yeah, like we it, were like we had this. Like, it was like strapped to the ceiling kind yeah. of thing. We, I believe this one in Sicily, we had one around our ankle because it was Saw-themed. Yeah. Like one around the ankle with a yeah. lot of reach, so... But, um, and not that heavy. They were heavy. But yeah, so we did, you know, the first room, basic puzzles, but there was a jacket, and, and you know, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, I mean, I guess this is barely a spoiler because we were instantly like, there's a jacket. Search every jacket, damn jacket. pocket. And we searched it. But, I uh, searched it, I thought. And but we again, all tried to search it. And, and then the lady had to come over the loudspeaker being like, oh, where did I put the key in that jacket? Oh, I forgot my key. So and and, and, we fa and then, again. Yeah, it's like when, when you think there's no food in the house and then your mother opens up the fridge mm. and it's like then there's suddenly food. It's like, what the... How did you manifest this? My first thought was to check the jacket. It was a yeah, friend, literally. Friend, but yeah, it wasn't. But I couldn't a, find it. It was an immersive experience. Um, in that, up. in that they they did jump scares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ke she came snuck in, closed doors behind us with a bam, peeked through windows with a mask and being like. <laughs> that, that she straight up screamed at one point. Yeah. And my back was turned. I was not. You, I was not you, happy. You screamed back. I, screamed, I, know, oh. I, I almost punched. Her. I had looked through this people in the door bef into the next room before, and then I, when we were later, I was just like looking around, and I happened to be like, "Wait, there's no light coming from that people anymore. Wait, there's a thing." <sighs> ah! I, I also got scared by a rubber spider, so that says a lot about me. Mm -hmm. But there were some really good puzzles in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think there was one where I was like, "Oh, this is." Boring. 
bullshit. Yeah. yeah. The, the only, the, 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 besides not warning about the jump scares, the only constructive crit. I'm not even sure if it's constructive criticism. It's just like... Your preference? Uh, there was no warnings about the jump scares mm -hmm. even on the website. Yeah, exactly. So the warnings. No, uh, it was a very linear one, which is, it was okay because we were a small group. Mm -hmm. But the moment you be, do our uh, Like a, a bigger company group, thing. Yeah, or in general, like, yeah, the moment it becomes a bigger group, uh, P PSA for all the escape room doers out there, there should be multiple things that you can do mm -hmm. at the same time, because otherwise it's like, okay, this is currently the only puzzle we have available. One person works with it, the second person maybe assists, and the rest stands around and yeah, there was, uh, gives advice. There was, a, there was, there was a multiple standing moments, but yeah. like, I mean, like, the one we did in Long but, Beach had, like, so many that we were, like, both looking yeah, exactly. at different puzzles. Yeah, exactly. That was one where a lot of stuff or like the, the same one, time. Or, like, the, the, the other, I think it was also a Sherlock one, and uh, Escape Rooms like to do Sherlock Holmes, the one we did, like, the Glendale one, that mm. was uh, really good, that we went last minute to. At like mm. midnight, um, that we solved the one of the puzzles accidentally, yeah, yeah. and we didn't realize what did we do. Mm. But also, this was a medium puzzle, and then we asked um, how much time do we had left? And she kept giving us a lot of hints. Yeah, I felt it yeah. felt like a lot to a point where I was like maybe a little bit less, but I didn't say it out loud, thankfully. But she, but yeah, we had three minutes left on the yeah. timer. Uh, we are a, we are a. Great trio. It's better first. than our other attempt at this uh, this company, you know. Yeah, I mean the, the Sherlock Sherlock. one. We were we were three minutes over time, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I guess positive. Yeah, um. Yeah. Then besides that, Saturday. Saturday. What was even Saturday? What Saturday is a day. That is like yesterday. Aquarium, right. Oh, okay. Did we? Did anybody share any pictures that I can share? If not, just look at this beautiful picture. Oh, yeah. So we went to the aquarium. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, uh, I have pictures of jellyfish. I can share those. Send yeah. Those. Um, so there's a, an aquarium by the Berlin Zoo. And uh, it was... A, I, I, I went in with maybe too high of expectations. <laughs> We were spoiled the last aquarium that I saw, and I guess you too, or well, yeah, was Yeah, the last one? aquarium I went to was when I went with you, and I went with Lauren to the same aquarium, um, to the one in Long Beach, which is, if you guys watch uh, Amphibia, that, that aquarium appears in, in, uh, in, in Amphibia. If you know, you know. Um, oh, it is that one. Yeah, Aquarium uh. of the Pacific. Okay, I didn't pay enough attention, I guess, to where specifically. I know. Anyways, I mean, anyways. it's it's a Californian thing. Although the yeah. time so, the, the light was not great and there was glass, so I didn't take a lot of pictures. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a nice. Like, I like that. That's that that my favorite one. Yeah, that is. That but is a, yeah, there was still there was there were three levels. There were fishies, there was uh, creepy crawlies, and there were reptiles. Hmm. Yeah. And it was a nice little aquarium. I don't think it's worth the zoo price that it that it basically is yeah there's more to see at the zoo than there is yeah. at that aquarium that, and they're connected. um there was one thing that i was confused about and maybe it's because i'm an american why was there a whole wall of cockroaches <laughs> just saying even in insect exhibits in in the in the fucking uh, aquariums where i am and zoos they don't have cockroaches yeah there because usually you just need to go to uh, to the bronx hey oh I, I guess the Bronx, the I don't know anything about No, 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 you're, you're, you're correct. Okay. <laughs> they probably didn't know where else in the zoo and the whole, like, park to put them, so they just stuck them in I the I mean, the, I guess the point is, the key is making is, why put them there at all? <laughs> why include because cockroaches? Because they live all over the world. I mean, he That's said true. himself that Germany doesn't have a cockroach problem, which is ironic given the species of cockroach that is a problem, which there is the German cockroach. There was African cockroaches, there was Colombian cockroaches. There's the, yeah, but the point being, I, I saw that wall... And I immediately backed away because mm. Chrissy doesn't like cockroaches. But there were some really cool, like, beetles. And there was, like, mm. leaf bugs and shit that just yeah. look like leaves. Oh, yeah. And we made the discovery that Himbo is possibly a lizard. Yeah. yeah. There were some lizards that were posing as elegantly as Himbo does. So we're like, wait, are ferrets just fuzzy lizards? Or at the very least, when Himbo, pooping. which got me to my newest theory. Uh-huh. 
Uh, ne? Him, we all know what lizard people are, mm -hmm. right? Like like lizards actually wearing human skin and disguised as uh, yeah, yeah, the humans, the probably r r exactly. Mark Zuckerberg, all that. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And Himbo is just the ferret version of a lizard person. So he is a lizard in a ferret suit. He's a mustelid reptilian. Let, let, yeah. let me ask you too. What was your uh, and I or guess it ro rotates story? back to me. What was your favorite uh, creature that you saw at the zoo uh, yesterday? Mm. And it could be from creepy crawly reptile or yeah. fishy. I mean, obviously, I like the jellyfish a lot. They yeah. were fun. I was disappointed by the lack of octopus. Yeah. That we it's saw. We saw. Fun. We saw a great octopus at the Long Beach one. Mm. It did have an oxalot. It did have oh, yeah. it did have it did have a happy pink boy, which was really funny because the, the diagram picture was not a happy pink boy. It looked more like well, um, the pooper greener, po pooper yeah. and scarlet and violet. But like so so your favorite was the axolotl. I guess so. Yeah, okay. I was happy they had one. Yeah, I I guess for me it's just I'm always fascinated by uh, huge fish because you have those giant and I mean really I'm, I'm, I, I, I saw a fish so. Oh, hey. No, but then again, not even ironically, this one dragon-esque one mm -hmm. that was really like probably longer than I am tall. So it was uh, like a really long electric yeah. eel to the oh, point the eel to too. the point we were like, is this a big enough tank yeah, for I, these things? I was thinking about the one that was floating on oh, the no, no, floor. Oh no, no, yeah, that, that, that one that too. Really yeah. like yeah. a dragon. What was that? Like a catfish? Something. He was with the catfish, for example. But mm. yeah, having those gigantic entities just. Without, with even minimal motion, just hovering on, like, effortless through the air. I mean, obviously, it was water, but you, you just air. stand in front of a glass <laughs> and you just see this gliding by. And I'm always fascinated by... Too bad, uh, there, weren't, too bad there weren't any sunfish. Even bigger, oh, yeah. or what is up Also with them? big and also very floaty. Yeah. Ah. I think my favorites were either the mud skippers, because mud skippers are just hilarious looking creatures. Because there was one that was oh. in the midst of running, which I, I love. Mm. But I also, I love snakes. Like, I. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, snakes. I, it was a very. I, I had to explain to him how snakes move, because you asked, like, how do uh, they, how do they course, slither? I never, yeah. And the thing, I know the ones that do it with emotion, but this one was just straightforward gliding up but and yeah, down. But yeah, like because the thing is, is that it's just all muscle contract. Yeah. They're just flexing. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, They're so, buff boys. They're constantly flexing. So, so basically, they're doing the waves that centipedes do, but with their muscles. Basically. Yeah, like the like I will give the the aquarium this. Their reptile exhibit is very good. They mm -hmm. have a, like a very big variety of mm -hmm. um, things. I also found their set pieces hilarious because they they try to do the old west as a desert and had a tr treasure map in a bottle just there which I, I love when other countries try to interpret the, the, the wild west. The Australian one had a little uh, a, boomerang. A, a boomerang just in the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I like my lizardy boys, but uh, so we did that and we didn't really do much the rest of Saturday besides watch you and I watched uh, the media that I'm going to talk about. Uh, that's mm -hmm. true. Um and then we went to a boba place. Mm -hmm. Um as one does. <laughs> actually rotating back the clock because uh, Thursday was a was a denim and Chrissy day. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, I, I, where not we, even I know about this. So. Yeah, he was at work all day. So Yeah, we and uh, yeah, work and then holiday things. They but like we at Nondescript late. Company, um, we discovered that we're basically just catty bitches because mm. <laughs> we spent most of the day just watching Without a Recipe from Try Guys and criticizing them the entire like, time. Oh, why are you doing that? No, Keith, no. why? Keith, why? Why is it so wet? Why is it? Yeah, because we were watching the hamburger episode. Yeah. And, and, and I guess I now have to link this down below. Yeah, because, yep. uh, I mean, they're totally normal season, which... Yeah, the totally normal newest season. Totally normal, not pre-recorded. The, the, the panda and the elephant... Yeah, the, the, three, the 300 pound. Yeah, the 800 pound. Yeah. 800 pound pink elephant. Oh, yeah. They literally it, put an elephant in the room. Instead of yeah. Ned, yeah. With, with a sign that said 800 pounds. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, like, they literally put an elephant in the room yes, that they didn't how, yeah. address. Yes, exactly. Because how they and it was because, pink. because they did the split camera so that whatever Ned's kitchen was, they just put the animal. <laughs> yeah, and it was pink, which it was Ned's color. 
Um, personal opinion. I like the new, the, the green, blue, and purple that they have now without the pink. The pink was kind of, uh, garish. Mm. But, like, yeah, uh, we were just spending a lot of Thursday being mm -hmm. catty bitches towards three, uh, three men's cooking. I mean, lovingly so, Lovingly. Of course. Lovingly. But I, as people I just who know that. how to cook and bake. Yeah. We were just like, like oh, why? Why? Uh -huh. And there were a couple times where he witnessed, uh, witnessed us just kind of commentating, and it was just kind of like... I only imagine that it's kind of like, what? Is this like Statler and Waldorf for, 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 for millennial white women? Mm. <laughs> like, uh, this is why my, my, my friends back in Colorado, like, I told Christy about this, mm -hmm. like to watch uh, Great British Bake Off with me in the room because they love to watch me reacting to people in, uh -huh. in the Great British Bake Off. Like, why are you doing it like that? No, no, oh no, it's him, it's wrong. I think the most violent reactions we had was towards the Boba episode they did recently. <laughs> okay, so how do to explain uh, this in a succinct way? Uh, Eugene tried to use edible dirt in his yeah, Boba. Because his whole good Eugene stick is doing a bunch of American things, and that included fracking. So he made a fracking-based uh, oil rig Boba drink. And he also wanted to do Asia proud as he the He had the idea group. for the episode to do Boba, and, and he, got he did the worst. His was so bad. His was so bad that he got fourth place and the fucking animal insert that they had for Ned got third. <laughs> it was that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach won that episode. So that's just how you know Spoilers. the world's completely upside down. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I love Try Guys. Mm -hmm. Keith is my pal. He's he's great. I mean, we watched a bit of Try Hards, too, and yeah. with them trying to bake a cake. Oh, also, God. That was also us being catty. The, all of them having zero baking experience, and I'm just, and like, it's not a cake. Oh, It's God. not a cake. Eddie, it's not a cake, that's man. It's not a cake. I, I think, it like, says cake. That's not a cake. The part that killed us the most was, like, when <laughs> when their, when their co when the guest host was looking up the definition mm -hmm. of bake. Or the, the, the edible paint. Okay, okay, so no, so I don't care if this is a spoiler. Elliot used edible paint that you use on Warhammer figurines for his cake because he was like, oh, it's 100% edible, and he didn't taste anything. Um, I would like to point out that he said at the beginning of the episode he has long COVID, so his taste buds are just not numb. Mm -hmm. But like every, like Tom and the guest host like took a bite and he, they, they, like they scooped up the paint. And they were like, the cake is fine, but the paint tastes like paint, apparently. Yeah, it tastes like, just because something's Imagine edible that. does not mean, but so, yeah, you guys just got a glimpse into what Thursday was. It was just, Ugh. and us going to a Vietnamese place yeah. where they didn't have tapioca balls for boba. They also didn't understand the difference between bub boba tea and bubble it's, tea. To be fair, I think that, that the waitress that was helping us must have been fairly new to Germany because she had trouble understanding both English and German. Yeah. So if you want two catty white women, just have a just have a mm -hmm. denim and Chrissy day. And show us like people trying to cook who are not very good at cooking, yeah, it, but it, trying it, to act like they're totally confident. Exactly. I, I guess if... Uh... The key is the part, the trying to act like they're confident part. Mm -hmm, if people mm -hmm. are like amateur bakers and they're trying hard... That's different. Yeah. I, I guess. I guess, if, guess uh, yeah. if I'm out again for uh, for whatever reason, the best thing you two can do is just do a watch party with <gasps> something like mm, that. Yeah. Stream it and then be and just call the stream two Caddy White Women. <laughs> Can we make a new podcast? <laughs> just forget him and be two. Welcome I got two Sunday cat. evenings off. Nice. <laughs> just be a podcast called Two Caddy. What if we made that? Did it on Saturday? And we became more popular than awkward. I mean, you can we even might. do it on Sunday. <laughs> I mean, do I uh, want to give up awkward? I mean, then I will just play games. Be I promise to be quiet and let you uh, girls See, be catty. See, the, the moment I don't believe you is the. I promise to be quiet. Yeah. It depends on the game. Depends on the game. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, so that was Thursday. Anyways, moving on. So hmm. so today, though, yes. oh, oh, also on, was it, yeah, was it Thursday prepare. or Friday we went to the thrift store? I think it was, was it Friday? Yes, it was Friday. Okay, he oh, was working. one more thing. He was working for One more thing of, uh, of denim and Chrissy days. Mm -hmm. We went to a thrift store, and uh, because I only own one pair of shoes. And it was... And it's forecasted to snow on this weekend. And so we were like, let's go get some shoes at the thrift store because why spend a shit ton of money on shoes? Exactly. Um, we spent a good amount of money on shoes. We did. Um, we, because it's like a 
Not what for a me. It, what it's like a four level, five level, five, five level, level thrift store. So my favorite. We found the favorites. shoes fairly quickly. That that we got a pair of like Converse moccasins that are actually really nice. Hmm. I'm not getting up to get them, but you can imagine. But them. I found another pair that I looked at denim and I was like, Do you think Max would hate these? Yes. Do you think I should get them? Yes. These are definitely shoes so, that make a statement. Say hello to my new convention shoes. <laughs> Where is the camera? Look at these. Oh, do these scream Chrissy or do these scream Chrissy? They were not in the vintage I mean, section. I guess since I was not there for that, I can just offer my camera. To, to showcase them while you keep uh, explaining. Uh, so yeah, we got those, and then we went upstairs and we were looking at a bun bunch of vintage stuff, uh, which was very funny. Mm -hmm. I always love vintage. There, there vintage was so much vintage stuff. denim that it didn't, there was like one blouse that had like a bib on it that yeah, made it was no like sense. a double-breasted thing that just went over the top of a regular denim shirt. Yeah, and then I found this cap, which I can only assume someone who's a fan of Daphne from Scooby-Doo made. And the thing was, I was like, oh, let me put on this doofy looking hat. Oh, fuck, I look good in it. Because it, because at first it oh, came... Oh, the colors, they're so bright. Because at first I came in, like, putting it on like this, and then I took my hair out, and I was like, oh, no, denim, I think I look good in it. Oh, no. Keep your head warm. Yeah. And look so, good doing it. So we got that. Mm -hmm. So that was Avid Adventure. Anyway, sun today... Yes. Uh, do so you which guys one do I even use? Uh, I oh, guess we could start with the first level one. Okay, okay. And I'll let you and I'll let I'll let you guys explain it a bit because I've been talking a lot. So, True. I had looked up uh, before that Chrissy got here things that we could possibly do. And there's like ideas, and I found that there was going to be an excuse me, Asian Christmas market since uh you know Germany's supposed to be well known for its Christmas markets and all that. So I was like, yeah, this sounds different and interesting. Let's check it out. So we did. You can spot the Asian part right here. Yeah, turns out the Asian super, Asian Christmas market was part of a whole rodeo. Christmas market rodeo thing. Which is just like a way of saying it was a bunch of stalls selling stuff. Yeah, and it was Sometimes not even... Sometimes Christmas themed. So the most Asian about it was the decoration of the ground level. And, and some of the food on the ground level. Yeah, I, true, There was Asian true. food on the ground level. They, they seem to put a little bit of an emphasis on having... Uh, Asia-related stores. I mean, we also had some Asian artists uh, there showing were. their there were uh, uh, yeah. pieces. Uh, we, I got you guys some very fancy Sakura sake. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we want to show will, it off. You, you're it. sitting in the unthankful position. I'm do, sorry. Do you want me to grab the moonshine, too? Oh, totally. Sure, grab a bottle. Totally. Of flavor. <laughs> but yeah, it turns out the Asian part was just this one ground level exactly. floor. Exactly. Some shops, and but it was smaller than the website made it look. Yeah, and the Christmas part was basically just a giant Christmas tree in the upper layers, which nice and, and, it was and everything, lovely. but the and there were a lot of booths to look at. But yeah, and, and a lot there of were, good and interesting booths, but very little Christmas. Yeah, but the Christmas was really limited to the tree, and the Asia was limited which, to the decoration you know what? and some booths. I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of fine with. I, it's I, fair. I just it's felt, I just felt like I was in four different vendor halls. Yeah, it was a yeah. good market. So yeah, it was starting fun here. We will not disclose higher. the price. Oh yeah, higher. Normally, normally this is high enough, but since I had to, you ring move light. my webcam. It has an actual little Sakura flower. Yes. In it. Mm -hmm. Behold, uh, the ring light. I, <laughs> I don't wait. I got that for... Uh, yeah, so I got I that cannot for, get out of the ring lights area. I okay. got that for Max. Um, and then there was another level, because uh, we just went to the top and worked our way down. Yeah. Um, there was like four levels? This, th th this Christmas market was the, was the uh, epitome of Chrissy can talk to strangers better than she yeah. can talk to people she actually knows. Because uh, because I feel, because I tend to walk faster in places because I want other people to take their time. There are magic powers of networking activated. Oh, yeah. I think every time these two found me, I was making friends with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, that's how you usually I caught. literally gained like five Instagram followers today. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I was like, do you have a yeah. social? And, and she was wasn't venting. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, it, but it was really like, we were like walking, looking at a store and we were like, Wait, 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 where's Chrissy? Then we see like, okay, she is like three or four stalls ahead. Okay, she she was making headway, 
uh, she, everybody does their own speed, that's fine. But then we always caught up to her at some point because then she was remaining at a singular stall and being like in a super vivid mm -hmm. conversation, which was not even related to the product necessarily. Because I, I usually talk to artists, like genuinely, I mm -hmm. usually talk to artists about the mediums that they use because there's there was a lot of varieties like there was one person from New Mexico that studied in New York and like how he does like screen printing mixed with mm -hmm. airbrushing and then there was one person who did like India inks and shit and stuff like that and then I was talking to the lady who made this scarf and like we she follows me on Instagram now um, which by the way I need to call someone out so um, Little philosophy of Christine Marie here. I, I need to go grab something. I off get my shelf. I, oh yeah, you go grab. Oh okay, okay. Fine. You, you, oh, oh uh, she she can grab herself while you keep while talking, you talk. or or I. I mean, I'm already up. All right, just grab. You're already most you of the way there. You want me to grab Cthulhu? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about okay, here. Okay, I thought you were talking about the yarn that yeah, I got you too. Mm -hmm. No, nope, I'm talking about Cthulhu. Okay, so. I get people gifts. I don't receive. I repeat to the people who didn't hear me. I give gifts. I don't receive. So when I got here uh, on, on, on Tuesday, I gave uh, Denim here this, which just looks like a little Cthulhu plushie. Super cute, super cute. But it has a little surprise inside. Which is some custom uh, Kraken dice that I ordered. Yeah, they, it actually has... Maybe you just abu or you can just abuse my it, window. It actually has octopus uh, krakens in it and everything. It's like a full D&D uh, &D set. Because I was like, hey, 2023, you can meet some D&D &D people. Yeah. Um, they're hollow inside. It doesn't quite come through, but they're like hollow. Yeah, which and, and they have good octopuses. weight to them, too, even for being hollow. But either way, I also got, like, the at this point I got the sake and I got the yarn and everything. But, you know, I get people things. I don't, I don't get things. <laughs> Until I was like, here, here, have this. I was putting something in Denim's bag, which was a little magnet that had a blue ninja on it that I found. Like, it was made of denim and it was a ninja. And it was the only one that was in that ba ba basket too. So I was like, oh. I had to. I also got Lauren a, a little doggy magnet that looked just like a Lauren dog. Mm -hmm. um, I need to move your camera. And then she, and then uh, Denim was like, okay, okay, well hold this. And I was like, what is this? And just hold on to it. You can just keep that actually. And I didn't look in the bag yet. So I was like, what is this? And then I pulled it out and it was the scarf because the, the I was talking to the scarf lady and she was like, oh, you would like this one. This matches your hat and all you your vibe. And it was really nice, but I didn't get it because I was like, oh, I don't know if I should get myself this. And now I have it. I, I walked back up to that booth after we pretended to move on. I was like, hey, give me that scarf my friend was looking at. I want to buy it. And was it the, the vendor was, was all like, 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 oh, that's so nice of you. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also this one was enabling me to buy oh, yeah. things for myself. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I don't have them on hand, but there was a very cute um, artist who had. The artist wasn't. I mean, I'm sure he was cute to some people, but like, uh, they had very cute art. My gift to you is self-love. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, it, I got like a little angry, uh, Mudkip and Rowlet pins for myself because he was, I was like, should I get them? And he just looked me dead in the eye and he was like, yes. Yes. D dude, it's... 10 bucks for both together. You, you, your <laughs> initial reaction to them was like, <gasps> ah! Get them. Let me, hmm? let, let me, uh, let me, let me do a dramatic recreation of this conversation. Oh, I don't know. Should, I should get them. Get, get them. Yep. I don't know, man. Maybe I should get them. <laughs> Max, do you really? Get them! Basically. I witnessed it. <laughs> and then the, uh, my favorite level was the second level. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was full of alcohol. Yeah, every other booth was alcohol. Uh, let, let you explain the moonshine. And it being Germany, they all offer you free samples without checking IDs. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, yeah, so uh, many samples. Uh, I mean, technically the samples already started downstairs, but the second the second floor was like over 50% booth. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think it was mostly just a drink 
stand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was also because the there, there was color. coffee. Yeah, there was coffee, there was coffee hot there was chocolate, chocolate. There was nut butters. Like it was a very food heavy, non alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Like it was not uh, cooked food, but it was food. Experience. Like it was yeah. like like it was very food stuffs oriented because there was also a lot of jams and jellies and mm -hmm. nut butters mm -hmm. and shit mm -hmm. like that. But the main thing is the alcohol. Yeah, there was so much alcohol. Alcohol. So so like the thing that Max can talk about yeah. is that there was a moonshine booth. Exactly. So I I had uh, I had some tries tries of uh, various stands like uh, no, samples samples, samples that's yeah. the word thank you mm -hmm. um, I had some samples on various stands but uh, always was like yeah tastes good but uh, uh, I mean the very first one had gin and vodka with us oh yeah nice mm -hmm. gin and vodka but the thing is infused, infused vodka that yeah was yeah it, it, it was I didn't go to that booth there were too many people there yeah. <laughs> right. but. Um, uh, this was on the first floor, actually, right after we entered. There were still too many people. Oh, I know the okay. you were talking about. Oh, okay, about. okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, and uh, so, but it was, uh, where did we, we started sampling before. Where did we also sample before that? We sampled yeah. the cold noodles that were downstairs. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but like the alcohol. Alcohol, we start, we, we sampled something uh, before something this one. There, there was, it, uh, I mean, I know that I sampled the Romanian wine. Oh yeah, um, but this was more than sampling. You actually paid. I'd start, and I'd I started with, with samples. Chocolate. Ah, because <laughs> they gave you they gave you samples. But uh, like I said, I want you to talk about it's your a, moonshine before it, I talk about my yeah, wine. Yeah, but the, already was before the yeah, hot but chocolate. Oh, this is an interesting sign. Oh but, yeah, because there was one. There was there was the hot chocolate booth, but there was another one. That all I also didn't go to because there was too many people. Mm -hmm. That was like this person had was just like multiple types of gin that was like dip infused with different fruits and stuff. Mm. Mm. But we also didn't do that. Mm. I'm not a big gin person, so I mm. willfully skipped that yeah. one. But I, but I believe we, we already had sampled uh, other uh, yeah. uh, places Please. with uh, uh, liquids or with beverages of the mature kind. Mm -hmm. um, and then we came across this yeah, I, I, I believe I, I actually alone, by myself, uh, 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 strolled ahead a little bit because uh, uh, Denim was at a, a cacao stand where mm -hmm. she, as a chocolate, a chocolate aficionado, I mean, uh, felt more... They had uh, a very dark drinking chocolate yeah. and like... Drink dark chocolate. I know a lot of people don't like. That's I fine. love dark chocolate. Yeah, some people don't. But like I, something I learned back when I was in culinary school was that the best way, the it's most hot. flavorful way, mm -hmm. yeah, to consume yeah. Hot, dark chocolate is when it's hot. But yeah, yeah. After, that's when you get the most. She was at the cacao from. stand. Uh -huh. I was at the wine stand. So yeah. I I strolled ahead a little bit and I came across this stand which had like. Moon. No, come on, come on, get it through the ring light. Moonshine. Yeah, moonshine. Or at least it's brewed in the same way. It's exactly. Brewed. It's not as strong. As yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's also moonshine literally tastes like motor oil. So yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> this tastes a lot better. Yeah, than no, no, flavored stuff. Knowing, uh, knowing a little bit, like oh, moonshine, uh, actual moonshine or whatever. And she started explaining, uh, like, like he said, like yeah, the entire idea is that they do it in a similar process, like they did back in the day when they brewed moonshine. Uh, uh, illegally doing the prohibition in America. Fun fact: Mountain Dew is actually based around moonshine. Oh, it was right. a it was a syrup to flavor moonshine. Ah, mm -hmm. but yeah. Point being that besides having a clear one uh, as their centerpiece, which had like fifty percent, fifty percent. I mean, wait, it's not. Oh, it is in reach. If you reach for this green bottle up there, is that the absinthe? Mm -hmm. That is absinthe, and it has a little bit more than fifty percent. Mm -hmm. It's eighty percent. Seventy. Isn't it? It, yeah, but it has a big fat 80 on it. It's probably rounded up. Yeah. 80. I wonder if it's literally I mean, 70. I mean, this, this, is also, this is also 50 yeah. proof. No. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, but 50, 50 proof, 25% volume. Yeah, but but yeah. Uh, point being... Yeah, uh, right over your face. Or excellent, excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Now keep talking. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, I, uh, that's my... Uh, no, it's just, uh, nobody else was on the booth. Uh, uh, and I was like waiting... Uh, 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 for the others, so I was just no, talking a little, and she was like, yeah, I want a sample. Like, sure, sample me up. And they had a very nice hazelnut one, where um, I had a I had a hazelnut liquor before, and it was just good. It was good stuff, good stuff. I actually but, really liked it as someone who doesn't like hazelnut. Yeah, it just tasted hazelnut. like nut butter. But then they also had cookie on toffee, so soon... Soon after, Denim joined me and I like... It was just like boozy syrup. It was so strong and so The toffee sweet. one just it. tastes like maple syrup. <laughs> it's so caramely. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they also had a, a, a wild berry one. This one's so good. Yeah, yeah, which was my personal favorite. But they were like, yeah... Uh, um, 
they had a deal. Kind of mm -hmm. Exactly. They, yeah, they had a deal where you can get three of these big jars and you get one jar for free. Or one smaller one. one. And since we had very, uh, especially between the we two of us. We all had different yours, favorites. Exactly, different favorites. Uh, um, so I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I already leaned towards getting more than one because there was none where everybody was like, yay. We all had favorites. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, eventually I ended up with, okay, we're getting a cookie, uh, a, a, a toffee. toffee white berry and then we get a small uh, small one of hazelnut i mean eventually so, it just ended up with everyone's favorites because my favorite is mm -hmm. the toffee one so now we my have favorite was uh, a cookie. my favorite was this one and we I got a hazelnut on top everyone wins yay, yay. Oh, but yeah the wine booth the wine booth <laughs> these two ladies were a delight so there was this romanian wine stand and i've never had romanian like wine and I, they were like, oh, you know, which one do you want? Do you want the red sparkly? And I automatically say red because I'm a cultured person. Uh, and one flavor was a lot softer. And then the other one just tasted just like Zinfandel. And they were like, where are you from? And I was like, live in New York. I grew, I'm from New York, live in LA. And so I have a lot of Californian wine. And they're like, oh, Romanian wine is kind of the closest thing to Californian wine. And so... They were great. And then there was a lady from Chicago who's been living here for like a decade. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, oh, their stuff is really good. And then we just started having a conversation. We clanked glasses. Um, and now she follows me. On, they both follow me on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> but no, it was, they were also like, oh, there's wine tastings throughout the year. Uh, I hope you can come to one and all this. And they were like, there's one in the spring. I was like, hey, who knows? Um, but it was just such a, they were, everyone, every vendor there was just, the loveliest person. Um, I also got a bunch of liquor poured on me by accident. <laughs> so there's one. There was one stand who yeah. had um, pine needle, mm. pine needle liquor. It tasted like how a Christmas tree smells, and I mean that in a good way. It was very uh, sweet. Very sweet, sweeter than you think. But it, the, I think we called it Santa's sap, and then we felt bad afterwards. <laughs> um, but, yeah. but one of the people running, line, can you tell? People running the the thing knocked over the sign and i just got a bunch of santa sap all over my jacket well now it sounds even worse and and then there was one there was one booth that stood out like liquor wise which was this boozy smoothie booth ran by this guy who was the delight and it was one for one the fucking furry liquor that we talked we've talked mm. about multiple times that that euro ferns except for this year they and, didn't come back after the Rona break. And I w and we were like, we don't know. And they were like, do they have an online presence? I was like, no, this tastes just like it. He tried to find them before. So we kind of introduced him to the concept of a furry convention. I wonder if he'll have I an called it, Google search. I this. called it an animal-based convention. <laughs> I told him, we, we told him the name and sort of clarified how it was spelled. I can so. see the glimmer in his eyes of like, oh, an untapped market. But like, <laughs> but like th a lot of flavors I wouldn't think to try. Like there was a rhubarb cardamom oh, one. No. Mm. Passion fruit. Uh, but he only had like five or six flavors, right? He had eight. Eight. Eight flavors. How many does a furry stall have? Like 15. Exactly. All you with just corn on it. created, not all, some of them are still The rat milk achy. one was just a bunch I, jerking no, no, no. off. I'm not denying that there are some that have explicit porn as the label on them, but some of them are also more like suggestive. Okay, fine. But point being, you just created a time paradox. Okay. You guys went there to okay. this dude, introduced him to this untapped market, and yet we have this liquor that gets sold, got sold there in the past that uh, tastes suspiciously like the one you tasted today. But the vendors at the Euroferns have more selection than the guy today. So what you guys accidentally did is sent him to Euroferns, probably in the year 2023. Un underprepared. Exactly. Oh no. And the trauma sends him back in time. He develops more flavors and he actually was the dude. But now that the circle closed, he disappeared from your ferns. Did you finish your I did, wine? I did finish mine. Okay, this makes I, a lot I, more I, sense I, I, now. I guess I can open but, this glass yeah. now. But, I, like, uh, the, but no, like it was like one for one flavor wise. I even, after I went to go get the pins, I stopped to get it. But overall, very nice Christmas market. Mm -hmm. uh, crowded, but nice. I mean, it's an indoor one. You get what you get. 
I mean, it was it was very cold today, so it was nice to be indoors. Yeah, it, was nice, it was nice to be indoors. It was, but it was nice freezing. to get a little bit to to warm up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't taste any of the smoothies. I was interested in them, but at that point, I'd already had multiple tastes of the moonshine and others before that, and I hadn't had anything to eat recently. So I was like, I need to not have any more booze samples until we get food. I need to stop for now. Oh, and then we had Italian food. Why are you staring at me like that for? Waiting to get direct eye contact with you. Coward. Nope. You nope. I know nougat my limits. coward. I know my limits. Coward. No. Nope. I didn't have a drop of food before drinking all that alcohol. Did, did that affect me? Yes. You should have had breakfast. I, I wasn't hungry. I also threw up like three times today. <laughs> so... <laughs> Moving on to media. Oh no, I, I peaked the mic when I laughed. Oh no. Oh, uh, in, individual peaks. Uh, it, it, it's, it's... But yeah, so so this week has been fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Glad to hear. But with that, media. Uh, before media, maybe a, a quick shout out to the art of the week, which I guess we should honorably mention this one. Oh, do you want to talk about it? I, I, I guess we can. I guess uh, we can talk about it as in. I, it per- is, I didn't see that you took it down from the The, 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 the title is uh, For Max. Uh, an artist is your Chrissy. The medium is acrylic. And it even has a signature. I totally do not read this off the back of this thing. Uh, so, no, uh, if I am not mistaken, and misinterpreted something, this was an early Christmas present, correct? Yes, I always, yes. I always get Max a Christmas present because we usually see each other before Christmas. This is actually the closest I think I visited you before Christmas. Uh, uh, yeah. Because uh, usually we see each other in, like, November or something. But, um, yeah. Every year I usually get him a gift that I have to finance someone else making and designing. So this year I was like... I'm making it myself. Yeah. And I actually did all the painting of Denim can uh, can attest here I at in this house. I was surprised that he never actually saw the painting. I, I made an effort to not watch because yeah, you were drawing over there on the desk and yeah. I knew you were uh, what you were doing and that it was to be supposed to be hmm. at least the the the, uh, the final theme product was supposed to be a surprise. So yeah, I, yeah, I um, the, tried not the to The funniest watch. thing was uh we were alone when I was giving the, the gift. And I took, I was taking it out of my backpack being like, I can't wait to give this to Max. I worked so hard on it. And then the palette that I was painting with still had wet paint. And it was stuck onto the painting. But he's actually not grinning. He's smiling. And there was little specks of like red paint everywhere. So I, had, I ran into the bathroom of my hotel room and just started like cleaning it up with Posca pen. You can't notice it. I did a good job. Um, but yeah, this is, I think, all in all, maybe six hours of total work. Hmm. Which, surprising. I'm actually surprised at myself of how good it is. On uh, Thursday, she was working on it off and on while we were watching all those Try Guys stuff. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it passed the, what does Julia from Trophy call it? The ugly stage? Yes. But I'm, I'm actually very, I really love the hair. Like, I think the hair is my favorite part. I was... I went over the hair so many fucking times. I was so, I was like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Wait, it's good now. Um, you got a hear a lot of people with OCs that have multi-shaded hair, right? Well, I mean, the thing with yours is that I can cheese it where I could use just one shade. Mm-hmm. But I just took the darker streak of your hair and just made that the shadows. Mm. So it just works. But also, um, Denim helped me by uh, saying that the hand was a good idea and also showing me that mm-hmm. ferrets do in fact have toe beans. Mm-hmm. Um, On a life example, I take it. Yeah. Yes. And, <laughs> like, yep, and fun fact, this is actually based off of one of Max's drawings. Yeah, yeah. Do I mm-hmm. now need to go to DB? You don't need to. Um, I mean, I did it. Link I, in I the did description. A... Well, always. the reason why that I, that I took the reference from it is because uh, if I'm correct... You drew this with my drawing tablet when I stayed with you. Maybe? Is it that long ago? Wait. It was long it's ago. It's in dr- learning how to draw the very fittingly named folder. Blep. Like, what was the first version, second version? Oh, yeah, that, that was a glorious development. Like, first attempt. Uh, and then I had to have the obvious pointed out to me, namely that ferrets actually have Rounded noses. Exactly. Yep. Study. Blip. So, second attempt, which then led into... Oh, they're even po- looking the right direction. 
I believe I'm mirrored, so this is actually a positive yep, development. It works. Yeah, right so it. I based it off of your your artwork. Yeah. Uh, which is why he doesn't have the gray vest, it's just the red shirt. Yeah, yeah. But which, yeah, so yeah. honorable mention to that, but the big mention to I, I, uh, our yearly way, work. Maybe maybe we make this uh, official out of the week if I can make a proper take a proper photo of it. <laughs> uh, first episode next year because yeah, this is as you can if you are uh, a long time viewer and fan, faithful to us for more than a year, or just loving those vlogs, you will recognize this artwork as the artwork of the final episode of. The season where we have all our guests of this season slash year represented and uh, yeah that that I'm was very happy that we got guests that we haven't had in a yes long time. we got a few new like faces Zach and stuff exactly we had Su Zach and we had new Zach yeah we had we had super old faces we had uh, um, wait, I guess I can open it so we can zoom in a little bit please don't open in a bad place I don't have a bad place I just realized because there's no Discord that I that I capturing. Ooh, here. Wouldn't it be just in your quick Wait, access no, as like one. one of your recents? Here it is. Probably, Probably that one too. So. But yeah, so we got like older guests, like we got voice back, and we got yeah. Zach, which we had Zach, 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 Zach. This Fuller. is a new Zach. Where's Zach Fuller. Oh, they, oh, the Zachs are actually above each other. I didn't even yeah, notice. and we have <laughs> we had Ashley back, which I think was like our two hundredth episode. We got Zach, we got Ashley and Dave. Yeah, a Ashley here. And Dave and down Dave there. And Dave down here. I which split them great, up for the artwork. Which was great. Which was a great mix of old and new. Uh huh. And then you know we got some new people like Lizzie and Hannah. Yeah. And, and old, that person, uh, and a, yes. And old goodies like uh, Denim and uh, Lauren. Uh, there's and Chris. some random cat sitting on top of the name. I'm not sure what's going up with that one. Hey, it looks grumpy. And, uh, and new uh, ones like Jay off. and stuff. What? It was a. It was overall a very well-rounded season of guests. Yeah. We were surprised no Ambers, but Ambers is a busy boy. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we have to. Uh, We'll get, we'll, we'll get Amber's back. You! Does me! Yes, uh, I will tell you, Odie, uh, Max had the specific thing of, like, of between moving everyone, he was never going to move you from sitting yep. on the logo. You were one of the first characters I placed because it was like, Cat doesn't care, Cat just sitting where said kids, a uh, cat sits, and Cat mm. doesn't move. And even when I moved the logo around, Cat stayed on logo. I actually like that we have two Tia artworks, like, perfectly... Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, sorry. We have two Tia artworks perfectly opposite of each other, with Tia on one side and Denim, and oh. Tia's artwork of Denim on the okay. other. That's true. Okay, okay, it's, for it's, that purpose, I should go back in, I guess. inadvertent symmetry. Yeah. Like, nah. Hold it. That's we, the thing. We it, discovered Tia likes drawing floaties. Yeah, because that her <laughs> her own sona floating. There. There, their own uh, sona floating, denim sona floating. I don't think we have any other Tia artworks uh, in here, but I don't think so either. But yeah, like we got a lot of oldies and a lot of newies and a lot of goodies. So thank you everyone who guested this year. You yes. guys are all you guys are all uh, very very cool beans. Mm -mm. And now, with, with all the art now talk out talk. of the way... God, how long have we been talking? We have been talking for uh, a little bit, so... Yeah. No! Ah, I need this one! Let's uh, lightning round this media! Light, lightning round cool. those media. Who wants to go first? I've been talking too much. I'll go last. Okay, you go first. Okie dokie. I go first. Let's so, open up the moonshine now. That won't lead to anything bad. Exactly. We're gonna open up for, yeah, go get the nozzle. So, for all them folks who were not there for the pre-show, we actually, in the last uh, few weeks, we, we got to watch uh, 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 stuff like uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, where it's like, yeah, we finally got to watch it. However, yeah, it has been spoken so much about, I cannot meaningfully add anything to it, but yeah, it's good. It's, it, it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a good... Uh, 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 not diversion, uh, subversion of tropes, where, where I'm always um, a great fan of. Um, remember, put a pin in this statement, because it might or might not be coming back. Uh, we uh, got to watch uh, Wakanda Forever, which MCU season, uh, phase, MCU phase it's a four. Movie. For, for MCU mm -hmm. phase four, yeah, definitely one of the best, uh, better ones uh, among them. Mm -hmm. uh, However, at the end of the day, it's an MCU movie, you know? 
Nice, nice. What was it? Nice tribute to T'Challa. Not, not, not nice tribute to Chadwick, Chadwick. and the and, and, character and, and, of T'Challa, but, but overall, a like, Marvel movie. It's a Marvel movie. Mar like, I, I, even I, the highest grade Marvel movie yeah. is still just an okay movie. I, I have nothing meaningful to say about it. However, there is something that probably deserves more attention. I assume at least because I haven't seen anything pop up anywhere else so far. You're not letting me getting letting me out of it, do you? Um, I have not seen popping any uh, anything else popping. You are letting me out of it. Do you want me to pour some for you? Yes, please. I just needed you to give me a confirmation. Okay, okay, okay. The way but you worded it made it sound like you didn't want to. No, you are not letting me out of this. Like like a provocative question. Like you are not letting me out of this. I don't know this. how much you want. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. Um, ooh, tw turning it into a Coke. Also I'm, not. I mean, wild bear with that, it'll be like a cherry Coke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S something. Sorry, uh, we're getting we, drunk. We are totally <laughs> not easily We're not last show of the year. We're not getting but, yeah, hammered. It's Woo! also true. But yeah, a, sh uh, 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 a show that I would say hasn't gotten the attention oh, yet to. that oh, it deserves. I it yet. And that I would say is better than Wakanda Forever. It's hard to pin it against everything everywhere all at once, but everything everywhere all at once already has all the attention. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. But what I want to talk about, finally getting there, building up, is an anime adaptation by Netflix known by the name of Romantic Killer. Oh, that's good. And oh yeah, it is. No, no, no. The the the, the I know. The also that. With it. Also that. Also, so, romantic killer is very good. It, it is actually so, uh, so good. So, what is the premise of the story? The premise of the story is that uh, you have uh, this girl. I don't even know her name. Hoshino. Hoshino. No wonder Hoshino, that you, yeah. no wonder that I cannot remember her name. This is outside of my very limited name remembering capability of very basic. German, maybe uh, English, and something else pseudo clo closer to Central European names. Um, so what it is? Uh, so there, uh, it it comes with the vague premise of uh, 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 harem. I'm not sure is it automatically a reversed harem if the girl is the centerpiece. Yeah, it is a reverse harem. Okay, usually. then it's uh, uh, with a very clear appearance of a reverse harem. However, I forgot her name again. Uh, Oshino. Redhead. Oshino. 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 Hoshino. Hoshino, the, the red-headed girl that we see, and you see her first meet cute. Uh, she gets put in this situation against her will. She is literally getting uh, visited, uh, tricked by uh, a wizard, which is this flowing, floating hamster thing. Yeah. Uh, Name Terrifying Riri. Riri. Name Riri. Yeah, uh, Riri. Yeah, she's literally there. You uh, there, Riri was again. Uh, tricks her into signing up for some kind of repopulation program. Definitely not creepy at all. However, it it it, it the show takes all those tropes and calls them out. It, it basically um, turns her life into a dating scene. Literally. Yes. This is literally what the, the premise is. is. Every character is the trope of like broody guy, wealthy guy, uh, uh, childhood, childhood friend. friend yeah. The wizard, sporty childhood friend. Exactly. The, the wizard is, uh, Riri is very explicitly, I made you a life a dating sim. But she is like, and the, the dating sim of romantic thriller. And she is like, I not playing along i am going to be the romantic killer title drop and um and it actually leads to her developing some very meaningful friendships mm -hmm. yeah because because the thing is at the beginning she's not a bad person but mm -hmm. she's like she's just not social and she doesn't yes. want to make friends she, she's like literally a complete by voluntarily a complete chatting who just focuses on her three patients she she's, does have a couple of school friends but she doesn't girl, she doesn't have a she doesn't have a of a social private yes, yes yes she likes she likes her vijima games her chocolate and her cat exactly she's after the type school that rushes home after school to play video games exactly um and, and never hangs with her friends so their I friends like me in high school dum, yeah. dum, dum, dum. same big mood <laughs> um maria uh, uh, so she is from the get-go she is like gets put into all the tropes like all of them and she is actively fighting it she is like Fuck you, I am not going to play along with this bullshit. And then she gets put into situation after situation, so it's it's 
do I have to mention Cabin in the Woods as a phenomenal example of a show that subverts the, 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 the genre that it's from but at the same time kind of plays into it because you have those meet cute moments or, or, or not actually the meet cute moments are not it but the connecting moments between the characters the bonding the bonding moments and you are like Doki Doki! <laughs> I mean, the wizard is actively oh, trying to oh. create these like awkward situations where sparks can fly, and, and she's like, uh, you know, the common the nope, common nope, things nope, nope. of like dinner party or I this person now lives with me. Mm -hmm. There's oh, a, no, there's a typhoon. I guess you have to stay over. Oh, my I, place. I make and catch, my parents are gone. I, I well. make I make catch I make catch you while you bathe. Yeah, but but all of this gets avoided and. Uh, the thing is, it starts out as a very over-the-top, and it stays over-the-top, but it mostly starts out as an over-the-top comedy, which, which is all about subverting those tropes and, 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 and playing with them. But as the show progresses, you, progresses, you realize layers, and uh, they go uh, so far beyond in... in uh, without giving spoilers, but... Cre uh, Situations that usually gets played for laughs in uh, especially those kind of romantic comedy situations uh, that gets downplayed, they treat it brutally realistic. Mm -hmm. And it's like, holy shit! Like, again, in a refreshing the way. Of respecting boundaries, mm. for one. Mm. There was even there was an episode we watched before the podcast where I was like, wow, they're actually respecting yeah. boundaries. And it, and it gets more even more so than that later. Yeah, that, that's the thing. The humans are actually all good humans. I mean, she she is such a mood. She is so over the top. There's so many. If but, you like Friendship is Manly, you can yeah. watch the expressions She, she, the she does manly in faces. Head, I kept kind of comparing it after we and you and I had finished watching the entire show, I kept kind of comparing it to the movie Hitch. Where it's mm. like, ultimately, all Hitch did was, like, be the push to bring people together. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they formed the bonds themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, I but, mean, I, this shouldn't really be a spoiler. She's not in any relationships by the end of the show. Or the first but season, does, at least. By the end of the season, yes. But she does have good friendships with all the characters. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely a deconstruction of what love is. Yes. Because you can see that anime. she clearly cares for and loves her friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing, especially towards the later show. It, it, it becomes clear that even so, she has little experience with social interactions because, uh, well, she avoided them for the majority of her life by prioritizing other stuff higher. She is actually just a good, a really just good person, caring, looking out, and, and all the characters are just great characters, and fucking watch that show. It's, she it's phenomenal. She is probably one of my favorite, like, female protagonists in anime in a long time. I believe it. And that's just, I've only watched half the show. Mm -hmm. I need to watch the rest of it. And it gets, but like, it gets, the layers get added. Or she's, you do she's pulled just away. Great. I want, I want to cosplay her. I just don't know how to, maybe, maybe her like really ugly outfit she wears when she's trying not <laughs> oh, to. Oh, yeah. yes. It's like, it's time to pull the pants. Wait, it's wait. time to tuck the shirt I'm in. pretty <laughs> sure this was visible at some point in the trailer. Like, yeah, Super ugly outfit. Whole, Come it's, on. It's, no, it's, you're stuck in my here. house because it's raining. She's like, well, I'm going to Yeah, it's right there. You see the fire. It's time to tuck the shirt in. No, wait. Not that one. That one's actually cute. Okay, she, there she is. Oh, there we go. Boom. I need to co I need to cosplay that. <laughs> I mean, very, the most comfortable cosplay I'll ever make. But, oh yeah, I believe. But it. like, uh, she's great. Mm -hmm. I love her, and she's she her. The dub is so good. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. like we've been watching the dub. Yeah, and, because uh, little baby Max is a slow reader. But and like can't the voice acting, dubs, dubs. like they actually have the girl actress do like the deep voice and the goofy. That's why I like she's actually goofy, mm -hmm. which is like yeah. so. Sadly rare mm -hmm. to see female protagonists be goofy or pull like weird expressions. It's like the, she, it's more common in anime, but you know, it's like the creator, the artist for the show heard the whole like male authors like, oh, it's so hard to draw women being expressive because it makes them look ugly, and was like, so make them as ugly make as you can. <laughs> if, like, if you like the expressions in like pop team epic, you would probably like yeah. this because it, it does. It's not lol random humor, but like the expressions mm -hmm. go into that level mm -hmm. and also there's 3d segments that are <gasps> deliberately oh, terrible yeah. i think that's the way in the trailer yeah because riri so bad riri created this fake game 
uh, themselves. They look like they were animated. Oh, in the, there Goofy it is. There dance. it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay. There. Look at this. Is a butt ugly interspliced scene to you constantly see, that see multiple times throughout the show. Yeah. But it's such a it's a well animated show. It's, it's a good show. Yes. I, don't, I, I guess the people who wouldn't like it. I guess if you just don't like romantic comedies or, at all. Or if you are so married to all the uh, uh, tr uh, the the the, the tropes pro the tropes that are potentially problematic. Uh, uh, if you're ace, you'll probably be uncomfortable by oh, the whole setup. Yes. Uh, particularly this so. is an ace night. This is an ace. No, it's it's not even an ace nightmare. It's an a romantic nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, ace yeah, hero nightmare. yeah, romantic killer. Watch it. I, I I love it. I love it. It's yeah. Do you okay. want to go next, or should I? I guess I can go next. Okay, yeah, because okay. we all have something to say. Because we all watch this together. Yeah. It's true. We did do and watch and do. Yep. But you. There's two Netflix things. First all three of these the, are Netflix things. The first night that Key was here, we watched the new Scrooge movie. Because that's on I Netflix. because I talked about how on TikTok people are, were fucking freaking out over this movie. As a, uh, a retelling of the because, Christmas Carol, it was good. Because Tumblr sexy man Scrooge. Yeah. They I made guess Scrooge he hot. Is. They made Scrooge hot in this movie, and I don't know yeah. how to feel about yeah, it. Yeah, he did. Kind of a silver fox. Yeah, he he legitimately is. I, I guess he's and also. And he has a dog in this version. Yeah. They gave a good reason for him to have the dog. It's Jacob Marley's dog. No spoilers, but it's Jacob Marley's dog. But and he, he still just, seems to care about it. He takes care of it because yeah. he respected Marley. But I mean, I feel like the dog is kind of there. And he's a good boy. Anyways, but, but, but he's, yeah. he doesn't really add, but he doesn't, do, he's not like an annoying mascot either. It's a she. Either. She? Oh, right. Prudence. Prudence. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, she. good on them for making a female dog that's not a typically female aligned breed yeah. of dog, because it's like a bloodhound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, she's a good but yeah, say your description of the movie and opinions before we make our inevitable judgmental input. Okay. It basically, like, it definitely had sort of a stage play feel to it, but with a more modern twist on it, where, like, as you saw, they break into musical numbers occasionally. There's all these, like, lighting effects and stuff. And when the Scrooge is being visited by the ghosts, they keep doing this, like, flashy thing for, like, flashing images of either things we've already seen, hints of the future, of things we're going to see, stuff like that. And, it, and that way it feels a little bit like, um, like, scenes where you see a person being put through, like, uh, what, like a holodeck or a 3D yeah, thing. Yeah, and, 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 like, and pew, 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 it's a very linear, it's a yeah. very linear talking about the, uh, the Christmas Carol story. Like, this yeah. is Christmas Carol, but yeah. a musical. Like, it's a very yeah. important thing to point out. It plays it straight, it plays the, the story straight. Oh yeah, I just want to say, it doesn't butcher it like, like some pe versions do. Like, yeah. as much as I love the Mickey Mouse version, it is a butchered version because mm -hmm. it's only a half hour, but this one is a full feature length telling of it. Yes. But like through all the stuff, we have all of the ghosts. What are your pros and cons of it? Uh, pros: musical numbers were good. Mm -hmm. uh, the voice acting was all really good. The animation was great. Oh yeah. Again, Scrooge is the silver fox for some reason. Played by uh, Luke Evans, the the guy who plays Beast in the live action Beauty and the Beast. Very much an upgrade. Mm -hmm. um, uh, cons: I guess again, the dog was kind of. There, it was cute, but she didn't necessarily add to the story. But I guess if they tried to force it, it would have not made, you know, it it, then it would have just been Max. It would have been a different screw one. from like yeah. Grinch. Uh, some of the kids suffer from same face a little bit. I mean, two of the kids, there's kind of a reason they're siblings, yeah. No, not even siblings, it was his, like the dad in the flashback, and then oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But, but the other times, I felt like a little same face, generic, cute kid face. We did actually, I think me and Max especially had the uh, realization while we were watching the movie that so many of the character designs look like other established. Like, mm -hmm. like Bob Cratchit is just Scout from TF2. <laughs> from, like, from like, like I don't know if you can play the trailer again, but mm. if you see Bob Cratchit, that's just Scout. I, 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 I can. Def that, 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 it's Scout. It's fucking Scout. Like, it's Scout with yeah. a different hair thing on. And, like, the animation's good, but some yeah. moments are a bit, like, indie yeah. studio. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. that's the only way I could put it. And for better or for worse, they did sort of change the concept of the uh, the Ghost of Christmas Past. Mm -hmm. Like, it was kind of cool, but I'm also like, is this really Ghost of Christmas Past? I mean, is this really? It's probably, uh... Oh, yeah, that, 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 come on. There, there's Christmas goes past. Like nothing interacting or anything in the animation. I mean, oh yeah, Olivia and Coleman does a great job being like this more kooky kind of Christmas past ghost. Um, she does it. I mean, like like you said, the voice acting is stellar. Like they all put in their whole like uh, chest into it. 
But the Ghost oh, of Christmas yeah, Past, yes. admittedly, is usually the more wistful one. Yeah. Um, and this one was had the energy of Christmas. We had th two. We basically had in presentation two Christmas presents and one Christmas future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, I I can't I help mean, but love her. Look at her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she got me confused to the point where I was like, oh yeah, yeah, she's like the ghost of Christmas past from uh, 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 the the Scrooge. The what, what is the English title of the one? Uh, the modern day one with Bill Murray. Scrooged. Scrooged. Right. Uh, oh, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, she's she's basically like the the one in Scrooged. And then I was like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking of Ghost of Christmas Present in Scrooged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she was so much like it. But. Uh... Uh, if you have any other thoughts on it, because like this is your media, yeah, this is your yeah. media. And then I think I basically said a lot. Of what about what good. about you? Because I know you were a, a little bit more critical on it than I was. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I uh, think like the thing is, I really liked it. You were okay, I and you were it. probably the most critical, like of the spectrum, I was, yeah. relatively. Yeah, I, I, I would still. Uh, I mean, I, I I I realized this only just just now. I probably had a little bit of like, not my actual insert Christmas grumpy character movie here. So you know, like many people experienced uh, uh, the Illumination Grinch. <laughs> because this Scrooge is like, he has so much energy. I mean, in the trailer, mm. you see those really, really dark Groot, Groot, Scrooge moments where oh, he's but the just opening a dark he's being silhouette like, man. Especially with like the toy maker just being yeah. like, Merry but, Christmas. But he's like, but, but he's like super energetic. He's... Even so, he is super gray and silver foxy. I even have the feeling he's supposed to be a lot younger than average Scrooge. Well, because like if you think of the timeline, like mm -hmm. I, I don't know if this is spoilers, but like because the, the cause, nephew is because because the, the thing is they have the flashback with spoilers if you've never read or watched any Christmas Carol. You know, um, she he's with Elizabeth, the 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 uh, Fizzy Wicks daughter. And he's like, oh, my sister is pregnant with child. And then they discover that the sister died in childbirth having the nephew. Which actually is a point that not a lot of Christmas Carol adaptations use. Well, well, mm -hmm. yeah, Scrooge has a nephew, but if he has a nephew... Yeah, and, they, and, and there is constantly the implication the nephew is his only family, so that implies mm -hmm. the sister is gone. Yeah, but yeah. they never... I don't think any adaptation I've watched that's popular, like Disney, Muppets, mm -hmm. Jim Carrey has ever acknowledged that. But like, um, you know, the, 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 the nephew at most is like 30. So mm -hmm. he's probably like 50 something. Yeah, and, 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 you know, being a shitty person can age you. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, he, but he is not, while he is gray, he is agile. He is like super energetic. Uh, yeah, he's like not. Um, often you have this grumpy Scrooge. Uh, Michael Caine played him in the exactly, Muppets. Exactly. He's no yeah. Michael Caine. He's no Jim Carrey Scrooge. Where he's obviously a geriatric. He's like, a, he's a Clooney. He's a Clooney. Mm. Yeah, from, yeah. from the beginning. From the beginning, he has a lot of energy. He bursts in places. He's like ah, uh, uh, a, a little bit of a go getter. But at the same time, we are supposed to believe him to be the super crunchy old man. Again, then we have the thing with the dog. He. He, he is not uh, an, a, a total dog person, but he cares and uh, talks to the dog and interacts and is like, oh, well, He still insults him. Although the dog, likes, the, the dog likes his nephew more than she likes him. Yeah, but and she, and you know, he's like, oh, you know, Jacob left me with you and we'll get you a bone, you know, you'll just, the, the butcher would just owe me another 750 pounds. Yeah. I will say, like, while this is a Scrooge, I'm not... Like, this is not my favorite screw. If I put him on a tier list, he's probably, like, a B-. minus. But, like, I do like Luke Evans' performance. He makes yeah. it work. Performance, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely... Per performance, I'm absolutely... It's a very with. charismatic character, but it's yeah. not a Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, um, char uh, charismatic, great voice acting, yeah. Visuals, in general, like, sometimes it felt a little bit uh, indie, as you already pointed out, but no, not nothing I would hold against it. it just It's just something that you notice. Music numbers, the music itself, great. There's a thing that often enough, the music is, uh, I mean, while it is uh, non-diegetic, so it just happens, but in the canon of the show, it, there is no actual music playing. It's just a music number, like in a musical. With the exception of the Ghost of Christmas Presents entrance song, because they even said we sung a whole song about it. That mm. one's an actual yeah. performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Which besides they, that, they treat it, I mean, they treat it with modern days, that, that the diegeticness is relative. I mean... There was also another one where it's like it was it was presented as a non-diegetic song, but Scrooge and I assume the dog were just looking at it all like like 
people who watch a song, mm -hmm. which also... I mean, it's, I, I hate to point out the Pony Show. It's kind of like that O Main Hatton song Rarity sings, where Applejack and Rainbow Dash are kind of like, what the fuck is she singing? Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, 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 they, they treat it with modern day uh, approach that they don't oversink it too much. They are playing with it a bit, which generally good, but point being that they often have those songs... Uh, there is a, a, a romantic song, and it's just like you know, the song starts. Poof! They are in some kind of cloud dance, fantasy, fantasy land. cloudy dance floor. They, they play a little bit peekaboo in there while the song is playing, but nothing technically happens during the song. While well, often mm -hmm. enough, non-diegetic songs still progress the plot. There's a lot of talking head scenes in the mm. movie. Yeah, yeah. Especially which in Christmas the, Carol admittedly is a very dialogue-heavy. Mm because it's based off a book, is a very dialogue-heavy thing. But I, I know that when we were walking to my hotel, you even pointed out, like, not a lot happens in the musical numbers. They're yes. just kind of... Yeah. Exactly, Ooh. that's what I mean. Uh, and uh, basically, from all the musical numbers, I believe there was only one where I was like, whoa, and that's the one that we with all were with, like... With Elizabeth and, and Scrooge like being like... And the a, table. Later yeah. never come. Which, is the one. which is the one on TikTok impact. that everyone yes. freaks out about, where it's like... I mean, fully understand. I, I I did not watch the movie yet, but I heard the TikTok and I was like, I gotta download the song. Because yeah, it, it's good. It's really good. Otherwise, even the bombastic ones like... Goes to Christmas Present. Exactly. Yeah. They, they, they left little impact. It was just like a, a music video playing within, but it did, fa for me personally at least, it felt disconnected from the movie surrounding it. But overall, those critis critical... Uh, nah, I'm good. Uh, those critical uh, statements aside, yeah, I would agree. It's a good movie. It's definitely worth your time. And if you have already watched this for for this Christmas Eve, if you have already watched is it, after is this your Christmas, your media or my media? Should I should I say who should watch and who shouldn't? I mean, I haven't said um, my opinions yet. Okay. At least not. Uh, yeah, but yeah. If, if my point, if you have already watched your um, <laughs> your after Christmas. Uh, uh, your, uh, Klaus. Your, your Klaus and your Die Hard, then Scrooge is a good fourth one. There are probably more. <laughs> it's like if you did a 12 Days of Christmas where you're watching like a movie. I think this is a good like first or second day. And yeah. then you get like increasing quality. But um, I guess my only thoughts on it is that I really liked it. Like I, I obviously my favorite Christmas Carol and you know you guys can have your own is the Jim Carrey one. Um, which... Uh, you haven't watched yet. But I like, still haven't. But I haven't either. Oh, it's so good. Like, it's the best Zemeckis film he's ever made. <laughs> but, like, um, you know, that one's my favorite, but it's also a lot darker. This one's not dark by mm -hmm. any means. Like, I mean, even Scrooge is, like, energetic and... But, like, I agree with Denim. It's very stage play. Like, the opening number that the nephew does, which the mm. nephew is the opening number. The, a lot of the scenes are choreographed with the exception of the VFX... They're mm -hmm. choreographed like a stage production. Yeah, like Which I, I mean, thinking literally. that scene where there's a snowflake being projected by invisible lights onto the ground and he dances on it, that feels like a stage play. Yeah, like there's um, like a lot of the choreography in the musical numbers and just how things are composed, like like scene compositing, is very stage play. Which is fine. Like I, I prefer that with musicals because that means that they do a lot more wide shot dancings and all that, but... The music is so good. The, this, if you don't watch the movie, listen to the soundtrack because the singers are so. The the Scrooge and Elizabeth song, the goodbye. I think it's called Later Never Comes. Uh, from when I read mm. it, the soundtrack, like the moment that Scrooge is like, take her hand, and this is the day she says goodbye. I was like, actual goosebumps. Like Luke Evans sings so well. Why were you in the live action Beauty and the Beast? Like, you, you could have done, you did, you can, and you've done so much better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, our minimal commentary uh, aside, who would you say would enjoy it and who wouldn't? Basically, if you're looking for a new Christmas movie to watch this year, then I would say, yeah, this, absolutely watch this one. It doesn't reinvent and like revitalize the, the, the property or anything, but. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you could certainly do worse. There are certainly worse versions of this one. It's good. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Yeah. We're Marley. Yeah. We're watch. Marley. Ooh! Uh, but, yeah, that, this leaves now uh, one last media. We uh, found a lot of parallels with the Muppet Christmas Carol with this movie. But, yeah, it's my media. Yes. Uh, so, uh, our third Netflix Elevator pitch. We're not, we're not sponsored by Netflix. 
Um, oh, so, shit, they're all over Netflix. Mm -hmm. I said that. Yeah, yeah, the, you, you pointing it out made me, like, realize it. But, yeah, but sorry. Yeah, so, last night, me and Max watched Wendell and Wilde. Um, I've been very excited for this movie. For people who don't know, uh, Henry Selleck. Uh, Henry Selleck is the director of Nightmare Before Christmas and Coraline. Um, Tim Burton did not make Nightmare Before Christmas. He just produced it, and Henry Selleck deserves all the credit. Anyways, um, this is the first movie he's made. In, since Coraline, which was in like 2009. And he did this with Jordan Peele. If you don't know who Jordan Peele is, you haven't watched a horror movie in the past like five years. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, it's about this girl named Kat, who is uh, chosen to be a hell maiden to these two demons called Wendell and Wilde, who are played by Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key of Key and Peele fame. And you can tell, because they just look like Key and Peele. Um, and they're in this town called Rust Bucket. There's not a lot of uh, people in it and, because uh, Kat's family were basically the people keeping the town alive with their brewery and they died and Kat blames herself and then things happen. Because uh, anything else after this would be spoilers. Basically. Well, because like the movie goes fucking wild at a certain point. <laughs> It goes into the, the to uh, talking about the private prison sector because every Jordan Peele movie has political commentary. I, I don't think that's a crazy thing to say because we've watched, I mean, I know you and I have watched Get Out and mm -hmm. uh, us. us and I've seen Nope. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but all of them to an extent have political commentary, which I'm perfectly fine with. But marinating on it. I like the movie. Perfectly fine. But I think this movie both shows Jordan and Henry Selleck's styles highlighting each other and also detracting from each other because visually, beautiful film. Mm -hmm. um, it's gorgeous. Uh, the demons have more of a paper craft style to, like, they're, they look 2D. Like they look, especially like Wendell and Wilde themselves, their, their lips and everything are formatted to look like just 2D paper crafts. Any adult swim watchers, uh, if you've ever seen Mary Shelley's Frankenhole, that's what it looks like, where it looks like they're made of paper puppets. Um, meanwhile, everything else is a very Coraline Studio Leica look. And it's very gorgeous. Every character design is so unique. They're very atypical. No one looks conventionally attractive. Especially the villains. Oh my god, they look like 90s Tim Burton villains. But, like, uh, it's a very gorgeous movie. Like, Eye Candy alone, great movie to watch. I'm always going to support stop motion. But, like, the story is a very solid story. Mm. Like, it's solid in comedy and horror. There's not laugh-out-loud moments, but it's a lot of, like, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing where you're like, okay, like, I, I dig it. Um... Which you get a lot from, like, Key and Peele sketches. Like, they complement each other. Like, I think the moments I laughed the most was when Wendell and Wilde were just bantering with each other. Um, they get high multiple times in this movie. This is a very hard PG-rated movie. Um, I mean, if you're going to mention hell multiple times. Oh, yeah. Mm. But, um... That's just the American thing. But, like, also, like... Pushes the horror to an amount that Coraline does. So if you've watched Coraline, that's the amount of horror it goes into. I would say even a bit lighter. But it, it has that Coraline feel. Like the music being like a lot of like, la, 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 you know, that kind of children sounding. There's whimsy to it. Which is a lot of Henry's directing. And then the horror of Jordan. However, I think the thing that works in live action that doesn't work in animation is that with animation you could tell so you could show so much more. This one's very exposition heavy. Mm. Like the dialogue, there's a lot of dialogue where it's like, "Well, you know I've been on this case for like 20 years," kind of thing. And it's kind of like uh, you could have just shown this. Like literally there's a character that's a lawyer who's the head of the city council. They talk about, we've been on this case against this private prison for this many years. We think they've, they've done this. But then they, at the same scene, pass a giant, like, cork board with the red strings that show all these connections. So you've seen that this person's been looking up at this case. Um, so that's an issue, but I got over it very fast. Um, very good handling of a transgender character with Raul. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in that 
they didn't make a huge deal out of it. Um, so it's this one character at this girl's school wearing a boy's uniform. And he's referred to as he, him, called By Raul. everybody. There is a scene where someone who was his former friend accidentally dead names him, and she immediately apologizes. Mm. Great deconstruction of a girl you think is going to be the preppy girl bitch, but she's mm. actually just a really nice character. Mm. Um... Very on the nose with what's wrong with the private prison sector. And I'm like, wow, they went into that with a kids movie? Uh-huh. Um, but then, as you said, it, uh, very hard PG very rating. Very hard PG. So, I mean, overall, like, I really liked it. I mean, I I love anything. I will feed, eat out of that Jordan Peele trough as much as I can, like a little piggy. Um, because I love his writing style, and I love when he works with uh, Keegan-Michael Key, because... Keegan Michael Key is one of my favorite actors. He's going to be Toad in the new Mario, and I'm so excited. Um, and I'm also always going to love a good stop motion movie. And with this and the, the Guillermo del Toro Pinocchio coming out, Netflix is doing one thing right, and that's giving stop motion films a place to air. I hope Leica releases their films on Netflix or something instead of movie theaters, because they fail at movie theaters. Mm. But that's my opinion. What do you think? Uh, not really much to add. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you would be I more had, critical of it. Uh, I, I was uh, less swooped away by it, but that's often, like, I am very hard to swoop. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this comes off weird after uh, I don't know how long my passionate speech about uh, Romantic Killer lasted earlier. But I'm swooped by... You are you are the type who is more swooped by artistic values. Which, I am an artsy uh, person. I mean, exactly. I literally was so enamored by the credits, which was all concept art and them moving the models yeah. around. Yeah, uh, which which is like, uh, yeah, I can acknowledge that it's uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm an art student uh, kid, so exactly, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous stock motion. But uh, I'm like, oh yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous stock motion. Cool. Um, so uh, it has a harder time to 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 completely woo me away, but mm -hmm. no, I had a good time watching it. I I can agree that it's a, a, a good young people horror. Yeah, um, like it's not going to reinvent the wheel of like children yeah. horror. I think there's episodes of Courage yeah. the Cowardly Dog that are scarier than this. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. I would. I would recommend this to anyone yeah. who likes Coraline. Like that, Coraline or Nightmare Before Christmas, this is good. If you really have a turnoff by expository dialogue, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's also, yeah, it's, it's also one, uh, a, video, uh, a movie, like, it's for younger audience, it's animation, uh, it's, it's fantastic, so uh, uh, you hopefully already don't go in with a lot of suspension of, uh, no, you go with a lot of suspension of disbelief, mm -hmm. uh, because there were some things that was like, why is okay. this happening? How, okay, if this works, there's sure. A, there's a lot going on. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like they may have been juggling one too many balls. Mm. They could have gotten rid of one element or one character mm. and it would have flown a bit better. But overall, for someone who hasn't directed something since 2009, I'm perfectly fine with it. Why? Well, yeah. With that... I have no opinion on this movie because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Don't okay. worry, there's not a lot. There's no <laughs> gore, so you will enjoy it. Oh, yeah, yeah I figured. So yeah, uh, question being, if you wanna, this is potentially far away. Or if you wanna uh, read let me, questions let, let me get from, it off, let me get it off my phone. I will go to Twitter in the meantime uh, to ask our one and only Twitter question, as always provided by the always uh, J -J -J exactly. J -J 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 always challenging our um, decision making capabilities with the traditional. Would you rather? Live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express. The Since you are busy over there. The gingerbread house was not. Yeah, I was just thinking, this is a living situation versus a one-time trip thing? I would go for the Polar Express because, mm -hmm. I mean, train rides are fun. Get to meet Santa, I mean, I, see a Santa's workshop. I mean, we, we, we can potentially say it's magical, so the gingerbread house would not rot. Let's remove okay. this factor. So, I was gonna so, say, the so first a Hansel time, and Gretel situation. Yes. I was going to say, at least the first Without time the it witch. rains, it's going to like start dissolving all that candy it, it, it and stuff on it. It has some kind of... It, 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 is, it is safe against weather and was, weathering. That was going to be my next question. Okay. Was How well insulated is it against the cold? Depends you know? uh, uh, how are you feeling about norming at it. It, what, you know... 
Who made this gingerbread house? Which of the Try Guys made this gingerbread? <laughs> is it is it the is it the gingerbread house that Zach made? The synagogue with the barbers it, were going on. <laughs> is it the charcoal one of Eugene? Yeah, the Eugene the, the one. The charcuterie was... one of Keith, or the the, the the burnt one of 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 the of home the wrecker, mm -hmm, <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, but, yeah. Uh, watch our podcast, Caddy yeah, White Women. Like, if we're talking like, <laughs> call back. If we're talking like Hansel and Gretel, something. Future plans. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> well, call back to our earlier decision for future plans. Mm -hmm. Time travel. Uh, yeah, I'd still go with Polar Express. I think. Okay. I don't know what a gingerbread oh. house might get. Like the novelty would wear off soon mm. after a bit. Or I guess. I, 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 can I, I guess I can go, and then middle boy can... Or I mean, lower left boy can go. Um, I guess I would go with the Polar Express, too, because, like, I feel like I would get tired of the gingerbread mm -hmm. house just for the sake of... Yes, it provides... I know the big argument is you will have plenty of sustenance, but if I eat the house... The walls are gonna go away, mm -hmm. and animals are gonna. People, what say? Yeah, animals are gonna eat the thing. I'm gonna probably get diabetes. Like, there's so many things in here that I don't think is a good idea. And if we're talking full Hansel and Gretel, where everything is made of candy, I just, it's going to get gross. You'll never get. I need. Bands. I need like, give me an apple at some point. Not even apple. Give me a carrot. Mm -hmm. Like the Polar Express is at least like one night. You get to have fun, you meet Tom Hanks in multiple forms, and then you meet Santa Claus, and then eventually you stop believing in Santa Claus so the bell stops making music. <sighs> and, and you know, you have a full arc there. There's no arc in the gingerbread house. That's why it's called a house and not an arc. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have more moonshine now. Or don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm done drinking for tonight. But what's I your have choice? work tomorrow. Um, I uh, I will, uh, uh, for argument's sake, be the contrarian and go with uh, uh, the gingerbread house. Uh, mostly because uh, I haven't seen the Polar Express yet and I don't know what's going on there. I, all I know is that I have seen from the trailer that the people in there look pretty uncanny. I mean, so, I've never seen the movie either. I just know the book because I grew up with it. I also don't know those I know the because, books and the movies. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't. I'm not even sure if they are a thing in Germany at all, so... Never heard of it before the movie, and then the movie was there, and I saw uh, um, a very uncanny Tom Hanks in the trailer, so I was like, huh, okay, that's a very uncanny Tom Hanks. So, yeah, I, I go with uh, the gingerbread house, because you know, current job market and whatnot, and I mean, it doesn't specify how long I live there, so maybe, maybe I live there over Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while well, you are on your train ride, uh, I, I live like there. Like a vacation home? Exactly. I, 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 I nom it and I, I nom a little bit at it. And once I'm done, I'm like, okay, back to civilization. I hear tippy taps. I hear tippy taps too. So yeah, that was my answer. And with that, we move on to the next question on Twitter, which I, uh, on Discord, which I guess I will pick. I can read it. Okay, you I can read it. I just wanted to grab a him, baby. You, you grab that him, baby. You okay. grab him real good. Hello there, Himbebe. Do you want to read a question? All right, so, uh, let's see. From Paragon Prince, what's one app you want to use less and less, and what's one app you can't stop yourself from opening up, and why? I feel like this just goes one into the other. Yeah, I was about to say, those sound very, though there's a very, if, if those two questions are Venn diagram, they are like, 90% overlap. But yeah, guess goes first. Mm. Pikmin? I was gonna say, yeah. Probably Pikmin. I don't know, they're just so cute and I want all the different de the decor designs they can find. So every time I go somewhere new, I'm like, ooh, what kind of decor options can I get from here? What, what type of areas are around here? Oh, come on. There's a bakery right there. Why is there no bakery in here? I want to get the sweet shop pigment with the cake. Do you, do, do you want to, uh, uh, for those un... Uh, un in, uh, I'm talking un, about Pikmin Bloom. Uh. Pikmin Bloom. It's made by the same people that... that the same devs that uh, produced uh, Pokemon Go. However, unlike Pokemon Go, which has like competitive battles and catching Pokemon, it's a much more chill sort of collect-a-thon kind of game. Like you can cooperate to take down giant mushrooms. In your neighborhood. 
and you can plant flowers where you walk and the, then you can get missions to pick up more Pikmin items and grow more Pikmin and then when you get the Pikmin to the maximum affinity level they go on a mission and come back with a little decor item ba based on where they popped up from so there's like uh, so there's what like ones that have uh, scissors if they were near a salon there's ones that have uh, candy bars and all. there's ones that have little chef hats and stuff like that and they're very cute because they're Pikmin and the b point but is the, the, <laughs> yeah like content wise there's more meat shall we say to Pokemon Go than there is to Pikmin Bloom and yet I keep playing it okay so that's yours what about you I guess uh, any social media I guess Twitter is actually the worst offender because Discord, I'm not too deep down the Discord rabbit hole, so usually I check, click on click on the few messages in uh, channels, uh, in unmuted channels and unmuted servers, uh, double check if there's anything going on, but most of the time, especially during daytime, I don't have time to get into any long discussions. Uh, so Discord, I guess, is not as bad. So yeah, it, it would be Twitter. That's my worst phone app because I go in there far too regularly and just catch up on my feed. And, and that's it. It's Maybe retweet something. But hey, if uh, uh, if Elon is doing his, continues doing his job, then he makes Twitter unusable anyways and I can maybe get off of it. So that's my hope at least. What about you? I don't really use any app a lot because I don't really use my phone a lot anymore. Huh. Um, I don't even want to say Pokemon Go because Pokemon Go at least gets me walking. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean... Um, I guess... I mean, besides the people I talk to, probably Discord. Because I kind of just... I get overwhelmed too fast mm -hmm. by knowing exactly what people are doing all the time. And I mean, do you need it on the phone? You can still, I mean, the thing is like, it says what, what app on the phone you want to less use. So Twitter, for example, you can still check it on your desktop, but not having it on the phone. Yeah, or, exactly. Like I this, mean, I didn't have Twitter on my phone for yeah. a long time, but then I needed to use it for conventions mm. to tweet out, hey, I'm vending now, wow. Yes. But like, uh, fucking, Damn. you know, <laughs> but no, 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 probably Discord or Twitter, just because, I mean, I have muted most people that I'm actually close to. Because I just don't want to know what people are doing in their lives. Like, I just follow... Like, the people who I don't have muted are mostly just artists and YouTubers. Because it's like, look, I follow the people I support. And I check their Twitters personally when I want to help retweet something of theirs. But I don't want to know what's going on in your life. I don't care what food you ate recently. <laughs> like, I just, I just... No person should know this much about someone's personal life. I, I'm trying to minimize my parasocial relationships mm. and just mm. keep it personal or not personal. So there you go. Uh, actual deep answer. <laughs> we can't answer a lot of questions. It's getting late. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there are not too many anyways. There's not too many, I but I don't want to answer a lot. Three or four more. Mm -hmm. um, from... I want a girl for Christmas. Uh, it's crisis soon. So in honor of that, please enlighten us on your favorite unusual Chrysler tradition of your family slash friend group. So your favorite Christmas tradition. Okay, tell me, you know that Vine, I'd be so awkward otherwise. I know I it. I know it. I don't. <laughs> so two out of three ain't bad. So yeah. We can educate but yes, later. But so yes, so your so favorite so. Christmas tradition. Mm. Or mm. your weirdest Christmas tradition. Hmm, your favorite unusual Chrysler tradition. I guess, I guess mine uh, would be, um, probably told it before and awkward, but if not, then here I go again. Or no, here I go for the first time. So, um, many years ago, sooner than many people, I was like, ah, I have what I need. I don't need presents or gifts in this context or whatever. So, and, and at the same time you have this thing like, especially with Christmas, like uh, out of the childhood days you have like basically a literal Christmas wish list, like which feels like a shopping list and you basically go on a shopping spree for your clothes once and they, uh, you, you also 
have, I mean, that's just how it was in my family, I should probably point out. And you are also pressured into writing your own wish list so they know what to get for you. And uh, at some point I was really like, hey, dear sisters, and I have plenty of them. So I have three, three sisters. We are, we are four siblings. Mm -hmm. So I was like, dear sisters, how about not? How about... Instead of having, uh, uh, how, how, how I remove myself from it, you all have to worry about one gift less. And, and, and I don't know, I, I, I love celebrating it with you. I will still get something for the nieces and nephews, but I am not, uh, we, we, we adults don't need to do this. And they were like, hey, great idea. Let's not gift each other anything at all. Instead, let's let's have a dinner as us siblings. And uh, yeah, this has now been many, many years uh, that we, instead of gifting each other, we just, we four siblings, leave all our uh, plus ones and families at home and just the four of us go to a restaurant and uh, food and, and, and just hang for an hour or two, just, uh, just the four of us, which is something that especially at this point in time where basically everybody was or had already moved out was rare enough or basically non-existent and uh, so yeah that was it and maybe as an add-on at some point even our parents were like you know what this not gifting thing is a great idea let's also stop with this and instead we are all uh, uh, going for uh, uh, now for the last few years a circus so uh, a Christmas circus has now become Instead of giving each other's gifts, we just go Christmas circus. So this is my PSA for find better ways to celebrate Christmas and gifts. Give the gift Anyways, you time. enjoyed the painting I got you as a Christmas gift, I know, right? but, <laughs> but, but it's also the thing. This did not come from a wish list. I know. This entire I, I, I know. It was just good timing for it a joke. Was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, who wants to go next? What about you? Uh, I guess mine is the... For me, Christmas has become sort of an excuse to make uh, chocolate truffles. Ah. I like putting in, like, making artsy, fancy truffles with good flavors and, like, fun decorations and stuff. And I don't do this through most of the year because it's hard. It's the type of thing that's hard to do in just small batches for one or two people. you got to make a big boy batch. you got to make a lot of them at one time because that's just how it works and I don't have a lot of people around me yet that I can feed like you're not a big chocolate person in general and I don't want to be stuck Christmas so Christmas instead of years ago I was like wait instead of trying to figure out what to give each and every person and getting their all their wish lists hey this sounds familiar I'll give them <laughs> all homemade chocolates and just call it good Ask for a little bit of input on, like, what flavors do you not like? So I can be, okay, I will do these flavors and not these flavors. So for me, it's just my excuse every year to do the chocolates, make them, and give those as my Christmas present. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of mine. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't really celebrated Christmas with a family in a long time. But, mm -hmm. but I mean, um, what quirky uh, shenanigans do you usually get up to? I usually just watch really shitty Christmas Ah, uh, ah, uh, I believe uh, you're onto something there. Um, <laughs> Examples. Uh, I basically sit down and I watch a bunch of... I watch the entire Home Alone franchise. Ooh. Um, way to watch a progressively just downward <laughs> spiral. Um, but no, the thing that I've started doing is just... Um, especially with a few friends on like Discord and stuff... Um, speaking of the, the app I want to use less, but like, um, I like to watch just shitty, I pick a random year and I start watching, I wa I think I have started doing the thing where I watch a Christmas movie from every year of the 90s leading up to my birthday. Hmm. So, so a movie from 1990, 91, 92, 93, 94. Um, and then I always end it with Jingle All the Way because mm. Jingle All the Way is the best Christmas movie of all time. <laughs> um... And, you know, I watch the good Christmas movies like Klaus and shit, too, but Jingle All the Way is so fucking funny. Nice. Um, but the I guess the other thing that I do, I don't really talk about it a lot, is uh, I also do a baking thing. But um, <laughs> uh, back when I lived in Indiana, I would bake a bunch of, like, cupcakes and cookies and take them to food banks during mm. Christmas. Because I used to actually volunteer at local, like, because I used to live by a church, 
that I would go to youth group because I wanted to get out of the fucking house. Mm -hmm. um, so I would actually, during Christmas, me and my dad would go to the food bank and donate food or and help pack up like packages of food. Um, so around the time of year, I'm usually baking a bunch of like cookies because cookies is my thing and uh, <laughs> take them to local uh, food banks and stuff or I just buy a shit ton of like soup and beans and canned food and then do all that because it's kind of like, I, I kind of have everything I could ever want because mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a roof over my head, I have a good job, I have good friends, and I have good loved ones, and they all get everything they want because I, I try to work on all those because I get everyone one gift every Christmas. So it's kind of like I lived during a time where, you know, I lived in Section 8, I had food stamps and all that shit, and I had, I was a family who went through food banks and shit. You get a... To me, Christmas is kind of like that reminder that you should put out in the world what you want to have yourself. And so it's kind of like, you know, if you are not good at giving gifts to your loved ones, give gifts to strangers. Because it's kind of like, it doesn't cost, it doesn't cost nearly as much of you taking care of yourself to go to a food bank and just give a few things of food or a couple hours of your time to help people. Because it's kind of like, what the fuck are you doing with your time playing fucking... I almost said a game that you play. <laughs> I was but say, am I about to be called out? <laughs> no, I was. I was fucking Fortnite, which is a game I play. Okay. Um, but like you know, it doesn't cost anything to spend a little bit of your time with people that are in your community that just have less, because you witness that every fucking day if you live in a city or a town, you can do something about it. And what better time than the season of literal giving? Mm. Hmm. If you're going to give in to the consumerism of Christmas, might as well make it a good thing. Sorry, I went serious there. Next yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a mood. Yeah, yeah. I blame that. But, 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 yeah. but serious so far. Um, that wasn't even really a weird, unusual, unless being nice is an unusual thing. Um, uh... I'm trying to figure out what this question means. Mm -hmm. Towel Toga says, Merry Merriments or whatever. Anyways, who do you call when you have to reach for, for high shelf? That's the end of that question. Good, <laughs> Max. I can't, I can't yeah, reach the, it. I can't put this thing back on the shelf. It's too tall. I need your no. power so tall. No. Um, here's another one from Paragon Prince. Um, we're just going to change it to the top thing instead of okay. top three. What are the t what's the top thing that each of you, whenever you go to a shopping complex, district, or mall, or that each of you do? So, like, what's the number one thing you do when you go shopping? Uh, shop. <laughs> but I guess, like, I guess, like, the number one thing you get or prioritize? Or what you always need to check out? Boba tea. <laughs> so, oh, wait, um, you or? Everything? Uh, I do. Okay. I, I, when, th I thought you were calling out her again. I mean, no, boba tea as well. no. When I when I go out shopping, there's a boba tea place right by the shopping center, mm. so I always get boba tea. I'm weak. Um, I mean, my favorite mall, or the mall near here, has my favorite boba tea place, so I always get some when I go there, or nearly always. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I I don't like shopping, <laughs> um, unless it's like thrift stores. So. I, I don't know, people watch? Because people are weird? Hmm. What is my favorite thing? I mean, I guess for Maybe. me, especially <laughs> since I moved from one culture to a different culture, I like to walk down, up and down pretty much every single aisle, <laughs> and most until a store has become one that I've been to a lot, mm -hmm. just because I want to see what does this store sell? It's a completely different combination of items that I'm used to seeing in a store like this. So I just want to see what's different. What is the selection? What can I expect to find here? Should I ever need it in the future? And I know then I'll be like, oh, that store. I've seen it there. I'll go there. So I just like to look at everything, especially the things that are on sale. I always have, if there's a section where they have like the clearance items. So I guess this is really mine where they have the like clearance items, maybe slightly damaged. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of them and they put them aside, I will always check those out to be like, ooh. Can confirm. I don't wear or use much makeup, but what a lot of times when I do buy makeup, it's in these sections where I'll be like, ooh, that's an interesting shade of nail polish. Oh, I could use some more black mascara. That just shows that I shop online way too much. <laughs> Most things I buy are not at malls. 
when I go to malls, it's usually just to go to Cinnabon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, like, like I'm a very food oriented person, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So I usually just go to the food courts because there's just some food that you only get at malls. Mm -hmm. It's mall food, man. I guess. Hmm, what What do I do? I guess. Uh, Stand there and wait for the other person to stop nah, nah, shopping. Nah, nah, it depends. Uh, go and go for the one item you're bu buying and then check out. Not even necessarily. Here's the thing. I had a few years ahead of you, so at the beginning I actually checked out with a certain level of enthusiasm every new mall. Ah, in Berlin. In Berlin specifically, and trying to find like, ooh, what unique stores does the mall have to offer, until I at some point hit the moment of the, uh, disillusionment where I was like, well, a lot of those stores are just repeats between the malls. Um, so I guess my favorite thing is somewhere between... Um, uh, also, often enough, I am in malls for food, or I often enough can eat, and therefore it's like there's food. Cool. Let's see some some get get some snackage. Uh, or the other thing is in when there are certain stores that offer that, uh, check out the nerd merch. Nerd merch. Oh, like the GameStops something. and stuff. Or or yeah, there is a um, is it a Saturn? I believe it's a Saturn in the sense. Yeah, it's a Saturn in. Uh, uh, at Alex in Berlin, they just have a relatively large dedicated uh, uh, nerd stuff, nerd merch section where it's always like, hey, tis fun. So uh, I like to check this stuff out. I usually don't buy anything, but uh, uh, I, 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 I'm like, ooh, that's actually pretty cool nerd stuff. Bye. <laughs> no, no space for it in my flat. Uh, Bye. Yeah. If you don't mind, I think we should just go yeah, to the Yeah, I, I, I don't even think there's anything really left. Um, just one other yeah, thing. But. Yeah, but... So the FMK is actually from Voice of Reason instead of yeah. our usual people. Um, e even declaring, I always mm -hmm. wanted to do an FMK, so here we go. FMK, Crazy Geniuses, Reagan from Inside Job, mm -hmm. uh, Android 21 from Dragon Ball, and Delilah Briarwood from Vox Machina. Hmm. Mm. Oh, ah. Android. Oh, no. Yeah, the, this is Android. The version that everybody knows. The, the version, version that, that looks I like love. Boo. <laughs> so, apparently, yeah, I, I, I was not 100% aware. Uh, I obviously have seen the boo ass looking version. Mm hmm. Um, I guess I can quickly. No, blip. Uh, blip. Blip. Oh, it's just Pinterest. Am I opening Pinterest links? <laughs> no, you're opening Wikipedia, apparently. Oh, even 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 more curious, but yeah. So, uh, uh, at least you can actually click on Majin form and stuff. Ah, there's everything in one go. Okay. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, uh, so this lady here is uh, Android Twenty One. I have never seen this one until now, also, but obviously I've seen also, this one. Also, isn't it Guess Goes First? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just pointing out the character because I did not know the character. I'm not hmm. sure if you knew it. I've only her. seen that form around. Okay, exactly. So, I know okay. nothing about the character. Okay, there's that character, and the other characters were Reagan from Inside Job mm -hmm. and Delia Briarwood, which, yeah. So, I don't Hill. think I need to introduce, so yeah. Go mm. ahead. I mean... I guess... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and kill Android 21, mm -hmm. just because it's the one I know the least about. You know, nothing personal against her. Nothing uh, personnel, kid. <laughs> and fuck Delilah Briarwood, because I don't want to have to keep associating with that. She crazy. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Ra you know, marry Reagan, because hey, at least she's got a steady job. She's stable enough-ish. Mm -hmm. She's got a good. You're gonna have a, a weird job. ass father-in-law, but why not? She's got a stable job, probably good health insurance, you know, connections. If I want to see really cool concerts. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, yeah. Lord knows, half of musicians are just part of. Mary Illuminati. Reagan. She can come home and bitch about work, and I'll just nod and be like, "Yeah, mm-hmm, that sucks, dear. Mm-hmm, on popcorn." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Right. So, cool. uh, so. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know which way I, to go. I, which one? Which one? I guess I'll go. Okay, sure. And end the season with you having to pick things. Okay, so you fuck the Vox Machina character, you killed Android, and you married Reagan. Mm -hmm. Correct. 
I don't know what the Vox Machina. I can't remember oh, what the Vox okay. character oh, looks I, I, like. I, I should have. She's a uh. necromancer that resurrects her husband a lot as a vampire. Well, I mean, I I got that, but I mean, Very I don't hard to kill. I don't remember what she looks like. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm getting you. I'm getting you the official canonically appearance from uh, 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 Netflix. Uh, no, from the other one. Uh, Amazon. Amazon. There she oh, is. Oh, she's basic looking. Um. I guess I'm gonna kill her. I mean, she just looks like a red flag of a person. Basically. She looks like if Asami from The Legend of Korra was just worse. I mean, she's voiced by Azula. Yeah, okay. I'm very <laughs> so, confident in my choices now. Exactly. Um, I guess I'm gonna, f I, yeah, I'm gonna fuck Reagan. Because, mm -hmm. you know, she's cute. She's a very cute looking character. That underbite is adorable. She does have an underbite though. If you look at her profile view, her bottom lip jut juts out. She has one. Everyone thinks I'm a fucking crazy person, but I I'm not. But also like, you know, she gets game if you watch uh, parts of Inside Job. So I feel like it'll be interesting. She has those robot hands. Those could be fun. Hmm. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna marry Android 21 because look at her I'm gonna have a bomb ass wife man like it, I mean she's obviously a crazy genius that's why she's here and like she turns into a Majin form which is a super powerful form I mean her final form looks like she can kill me and you should always marry the people who look like they can kill you mm -hmm. because they'll kill everyone else for you she can spot you at the gym Exact, exactly. She's a permanent gym buddy. Hmm. hmm. Till death or dumbbell to us part. Okay, I, what about you? Yeah, so I, I, I guess uh, you, I was, earlier I was like, ah, I don't see too much of a problem there. I can go last. But I realized that you actually found a way to make it unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Because I have to kill Regan. Mm -hmm. The only mm -hmm. character on this list where I'm actually like, hey. That's a girl that <laughs> is, uh, 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 like... Fitting for you. Yeah, so uh, why am I killing her? Um, I'm killing her because she is so fitting. And it's like, yeah, but at the end of the day, she is uh, 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 a genius, she's crazy, she's super unhappy, and uh, uh, she, she would probably wipe my mind, if, if I would do anything with her and we would get close, but then it would fail because at the end of the day it would probably not work out. And then she would just uh, uh, mind wave me or worse, send, send me to a shadow prison or anything. So uh, uh, this is a matter of self-protection because uh, if I would start something with her, I would end up screwed and not in the fun way. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore I am... Um, Marrying Delilah, aren't I? Uh, yep, you. Yes, yeah, you are. so I'm the. I mean, among those characters, I dare to say she is the most uh, uh, in her own league powerful. I mean, Reagan, super genius, but in this world, there is so much stuff re uh, canon Literal and Illuminati. exists. Exactly. There are little immortal characters, and she's just a, an evil genius with robot arms. So, yeah, while, uh, and, and, and the boo, boo, I mean, look at the world of Dragon Ball. Look at the world of Dragon Ball. There's a super power entity around every corner. So how special and super out of the box, uh, how extraordinary strong is she really? She is, and she is a villain, so obviously all Sai uh, Saiyajin, Sai how do you pronounce them in English again? Saiyans. Saiyans, right. Mm -hmm. All the Saiyans are technically all more powerful, so... She, she's probably just out there to cause trouble. However, Delilah, Delilah Briarwood, she gives the heroes a run for her money, uh, for their money. She is an actual threat. She is, uh, uh, she is relatively to the universe she is from, probably the strongest of the three. And, uh, so you want her on your side rather than against you. Yeah, and also she's a necromancer, so if something really happens, uh, she canonically br keeps bringing her husband back. She canonically so, keeps coming back from death. Also that. So obviously being married to her is kind of a good life insurance. So, and, and I mean, 
she brings her husband back as a superpowered undead. So it's not a gold digger answer. You somehow did a soul digger answer. Yes. Hey. Um, and, and, you're and, gonna, and, and you're gonna fuck Android Twenty One because I mean, I mean she's hot. I mean, look, look, look at her. Just look, look at her. Look. Go, go, look. I, I guess, look. 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 Go. Go. Into girls. I, I, I mean, yeah. If you enjoy her, like I open image on a tab. Like look, look, look at her. Go, go to my Twitter timeline of the time when 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 this came out. I don't even know from which. Like, movie or spin-off yeah. or whatever she's go to my twitter timeline and then there's something you, you know by Ambrus. there's definitely some, i mean most retweets Ambrus was basically my dealer when it came to android 21 uh, artwork so it was just Ambrus filtered filtered it down a bit for me and then i was just like retweet like retweet like switch account retweet, and uh, like. i was about to say and switch accounts then you know why she is my fuck answer i mean i don't blame you it like the oh tippy taps they agree too hi, hi chonk chonky we haven't had you yet. <gasps> suddenly chonk well that was a twist i didn't see coming We're end the season with chonk Oh, that's, that's Rocket. Do you have anything to say to the audience on this last episode of Awkward Cast for 2022? But Keyframe, he can't talk. Oh, those were such gross noises, buddy. That's a little awkward. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. The memes are seen on this live stream as they talk about random crap. It's time for Awkward Cast. It's the Awkward It's the Awkward Random guests and funny gags on the Awkward It's the Awkward It's the Awkward Awkward and analysis, whoa, whoa, whoa. which you do not want to miss on Awkward.